What's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another live stream. Today, we're going to be playing some Azan, the best Azan. boy. Because I have a brand new guide, just released on the channel. You should go watch it, it's amazing. It shows all of the tips, tricks, and loadouts, and all the wonderful stuff you need to play. One of the best tanks in the game, really. I mean, truly. He is one of the most fun and one of the most powerful tanks ever to exist. And so you should, yeah, go watch the guide, learn how to play him, become a better Azan. And yeah, we'll be using these tips today to play a few matches and uh, have some fun with this character. And then later, we're going to be playing some sumos because, well, there's been a highly requested sumos stream with the new item store. And, uh, well, today is that day. So, first, let's make a party. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. I will invite. We'll start with MJ McDad and work our way down. We've got Earthy205, Jiki, and... Delta Sapphire. There we go. Wonderful. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start up the queue. And <laughs> all right, we got Rocker again. Uh, don't think I'll play that today. Uh, let's just use normal Siege because I think I still need Siege for the Trials of the Realm. Because yeah, <laughs> these trials take a long time. And I still am only 11% done with expending 150,000 ammo. I gotta do like a ruckus only stream and just get that done. Because that is such a long winded quest. I also already have the Azan announcer pack equipped. I came prepared for this stream. So um, yeah, there's that. And we gotta use the crow. And then I will actually use the skin because I've been using the default skin for all of my uh, Azan gameplay. Using the default skins for uh, these guides just to make it, I guess, a bit more uh, cohesive and easier to follow. You know, instead of using something like Dark Drake where it just looks completely different, right? How come Jiki now has VIP? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Is there a way to un-VIP? My Azan build named for Andrew, Eternal Talent. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I only see slash VIP for uh, adding VIP. I don't see a way to un-VIP. Gosh darn it, I was going to remove Jiki for, as a VIP, but I can't figure out how, so I no, guess uh, I, I guess we're just going to have to keep Jiki as a VIP. I don't know. Just give VIP to me. I, I, but you're a, you, you're a 7 main, so like, you're playing 7 right now. I can't do that. Not on my stream. You want to become VIP in the stream of the president of Seven Fate Club? I don't think so. <laughs> Can I have VIP? Sure. There. Oh, that's why I couldn't VIP you last time. I did actually try to do that last stream, but uh, I didn't realize there was an underscore at the end of the name. There we go. Yay! Eevee favoritism. <laughs> uh, I never use the VIP command. I really should use it more for regulars of the stream. I'll get there eventually, honestly. Yo, have we already got a hype train going? I didn't even pay attention. Oh boy. Wait, someone redeemed 100 bits for Eternal? I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. Um, that's awkward, because I'm definitely not playing Eternal right now. I have to take a build, so, um... <laughs> uh, let's do... I guess since we're playing a sumo comp, I might as well play Tempering with a max pin build. We've got Grok here, so I'll be good on heals. Let's just be powerful as on, then. The team wants to get started with the sumos a bit early today, I see. <laughs> just wallop some people in casuals. Okay. Yo, thank you for the... Wait! That's a tier 3 sub! That XPC team me, that genuinely might be the first tier 3 sub I've ever gotten. <laughs> I, 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 that might be. I don't remember the last time I've gotten a tier 3 sub. That is intense. Thank you so much for that. Holy crap, and we're just instantly to a level 2 hype train. We're actually really close. We're 17% to a level 3 hype train. That's insane. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's see if we can get to tier 3. That'd be pretty awesome, right? Ooh, knockback. Stop your grapple in its place. Um, uh, I'm trapped. Alright, let me just jump and get out of there. Now, where are the totems being placed? Because I need some totems! Dude, where's the totems? I have no totems. Wait! Earthy! You're not playing totem, Grok! Earthy, no! Earthy, whenever you play Grok in a sumo comp or pirate comp, Totemic Ward is the must-play meta talent for that. You place all the totems near the tanks, and you heal everyone on the team for like 900 health a second and give them 30% movement speed and a massive radius. 
Like, it is objectively the best talent for Grok in that circumstance. And honestly, the best talent in the game. I mean, you can't get a better healer for that, other than, like, maybe Curse of the Cord Lilith. But even then, Grok gives the speed, has the better totems for, you know, the convenience of using them. It's just the best, really. All right, I'm gonna try and go up here and stall out a little bit. Sadly, I'm just dead, and despite having four tanks, we actually don't have enough point presence for this. Oh, man. Another reason why it's so important to play Totemic Ward in this comp is because you're not doing damage to anybody because you're constantly shooting our teammates, meaning we're really lacking on damage output. Ah, that's so frustrating, dude. Okay. Uh, well, Khan's gonna die. We need to really group up right now. We're doing a terrible job of grouping up. As a sumo comp, that is, like, the number one thing we have to do is group up. Because we will win if we just dominate on the point, right? Oh boy. I'm just gonna accept it. I mean, what else can I do? It's not like I can cleanse it. Just get in a good position so that way when he does it, I don't get screwed. Right, let me do this. How is Croc dead? Bruh. Resist the urge. I'll resist the urge for now. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, clearly we are not experienced enough at playing sumos in a non-true sumo environment. Need a bit of work. Need to uh, get this team in ship shape for the sumos. Oh, man. Oh, Sati's here, at least. Uh, ooh, that Reckoning actually missed. There we go, you're dead. I'm just gonna bully the backline, for I am a Zon. Stun you in place. Whoop bam gotcha. Questionator, no! He's gone. Okay. Why is there no cards to the max option in customs? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there are no limited time mode options in customs, as wow, a matter of fact. Wow, you're like, really good! It'd be nice if they added some eventually. Yo, Fluffy Unicorn gifting a tier 1 sub to the community! And that's officially a hype train level 3, I'm pretty sure. Nice! That is awesome, thank you so much. Hmm. Grok's only here for a full tank comp, that's rough. No, Incredible Donk, you don't understand. Grok, for four tanks, is the best healer. Not one of the best healers. No, he is the best. <laughs> He's just playing the wrong talent. Yeah, Spirit's Domain is pretty rough for this. Totemic is what you gotta go. Look at how small the totems are. They need to be bigger. We need to have more of them. We need all of the area healing in the game. We need to protect him so he doesn't get out of position and die. Alright. I'm just gonna chill here. Uh, there's a treacherous ground. That's fine. Dash up. And away! Goodbye. I might do meditation anyways, just to make it easier for Grok to heal, considering he is relying on the stat heals only. Whoop. I stun him, but it doesn't frickin' matter. Okay. Let me at least dodge that stun, and then we're gonna slam down, try and interrupt here. Let me throw one of those into you. There goes Nara. Alright, I'm just gonna go over, and... Alright, we got the defense. Nice. So I guess we need to re-strategize here to actually capture this point properly. First, I need more Kronos. Second... We need to realize that we have a Spirit's Grok. We need to buy Meditation, and... I will just... I will let Grok focus on healing the other members of the team, and I will try and play as independently as possible. It might be good for Yagaroth to do that as well, depending on how, I guess, blitzy she's trying to play. Um, but yeah, most importantly, we have to group up, and we have to make sure we protect Grok. And Grok needs to do his best not to get out of position. Uh, and if we can deal with the flanks, then hopefully we should be okay. I can't blitz too much CC stuffs? Okay. When you stun 7, it auto-fires the ult. Really? Neat. So I guess I stunned myself then, didn't I? <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, there's one flanker going up. And away. Alright. Well, I see Vora on point. I'm just gonna walk past and blast her. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of damage. What the heck? Am I dead before I hit the ground? Not quite. 2,700 damage from Inara, that's crazy. How does she do that much damage? Well, Yagroth's gonna succeed with the ult, but Vora's gonna see succeed with killing Rock, which means we are by ourselves now. And we're gonna get forced off the point here, I think. Yep. Khan's gonna die here momentarily. Throw that damage out there. It's impossible to track 7 when he's up in the air like that, because he's 7 and I'm playing a projectile, so, you know, I guess I just lose. And there he goes. Uh, I do have a dash to maybe touch points, so I'll just try and do that now. Gag's on point as well, thankfully. We can hammer down on Vora. Uh, I'll just try and put walls here. 
Uh, I can't wall jump against my own walls, and I can't jump out of the stupid treacherous ground, and I'm not getting healed. Uh, meditation doesn't even work if I'm constantly in combat, and I can't get out. Stinking Wardersfield, man. Eh, uh, Rock Soul doesn't get kills, sadly. This is not looking good, despite the fact that we are kind of free capping right now. We just don't have a lot of pressure here. So, let me get up here, let me put some walls down. Sati got touched, but now she's walled off. And she dashed over my wall, and now I'm feared. Oh boy. Oh boy, not the sunlock. Okay, that didn't hit me, we can throw a hammer back there to seven. Well, bam, there's the double. Let me go for the triple here. Oh, that missed. Unreliable stun. Oh, I'm going up. I just can't survive, I got stuck on the lip. Man, where's our healer? Uh. Alright, he's back, he's healing Yag. Don't touch point, Brock. <laughs> Stay alive, please. I think Yag's just dead, yeah. Not enough healing in the world for her, and we do not have this. We just can't stay alive. We have no survivability, despite having four tanks and a Grok on the team. That is so sad. Alright, run away. <clears throat> need to make a Grok guide again, even though I made one last season. I need a new one. Oh, goodbye. Alright. Dashing away. Let me actually use meditation for once. Just need to use it. There we go. Aw, oh, heal right the way back up. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm crippled. What the heck? Oh, I almost died from that CC. I need to stop there, CC, so let me get some unbound. Grok, no, don't focus me. I'm in spawn with meditation. Focus the people who are in combat. Ah, alright. Uh, let me go around the left. Got Vora over here. Let's throw some hammers. Rockus is dead. That's bad. Um, ooh, can't go for that stun. All right, let me try that. And there we go. Gotcha. Easy peasy. Uh, let me actually just heal out of combat real quick. I'm gonna stand right here. And what? Bam. There we go. Good. Okay. I'm going up. Throw some hammers at Sati. Just push them back for now. Uh, might need to wall them off here soon, just so Khan can retreat. Let me put a wall there. Ah, uh, it's kind of bad. Kind of a bad wall. Ooh, now we're walled. Okay. We do that, and let me retreat. Goodbye. Holy crap, I went so, so high. <laughs> Alright, meditation heal me. Boom, there we go. Uh, this is really bad. I don't have a wall for this. Brock's dead. Okay. Need to retreat. I need to heal out of combat right now. And then I can go back and touch point with my ult soon. There's that. Let's just group up. Group up. Wait a second. Actually, I might dash on to point and then ult. If it's even worth ulting, I don't know. I'll try going up now. Slam down. Ult again. Just try and stay as mobile as I can. I need healing, though. Let me put the walls up. Got the Grok ult. Wasn't able to knock him off. Oh, I'm just dead, aren't I? I'm just dead. War is all over me, dude. We are incapable of getting kills right now. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. <sighs> Spirit's Domain is sadly bad when there's four tanks on the team. Yeah. Which you would think, oh, let me pick the highest concentrated healing in the game, right? Spirit's Domain? On Grok, four tanks, get all the healing? But no, it's actually way worse than seven. Even regularly, like, Totemic Ward is just the superior talent. Even in a regular match. The only time you might want to run Spirits, genuinely, is if you have a bunch of characters who just won't be able to sit in the totems. But even then, <laughs> it's just, at that point, Grok is bad no matter what. So you want to pick him in the right circumstance, and then when you do pick him, you pick Totemic. Do you think removing both the bonus healing and damage penalty, leaving only the lowered blood costs of Cursed Accord, be a good change? I don't know. I don't know enough about Lilith to really make that call. Um, I'm gonna do... What should my final item be, honestly? I don't even know. I need more survivability. I'm not sure whether I want to get that from Nimble, running away, repositioning better. Or if I want to get that from maybe Armor Plating, or... I mean, I could buy Rejuvenate, but honestly, I just want him to focus on my other teammates. So, Nimble might be the best to reposition better. Just kind of chain that with meditation. I guess I'll try that. Especially because it's cheap, and then I can just spend my credits on upgrading. And hopefully upgrading will be good for me. 
Alright, hello, Sotzi. Take some damage. Nice, we're chasing her down really hard. Un uh, reckoning. There we go. Uh, nice, yeah, just push her down, Jiki. That's what we gotta do. Good stuff. Oop. I missed. Alright. I can finish off Vora. And, alright, we just blitz them down. I don't even need to heal right now. <laughs> I'm full health. They didn't even shoot me. Uh, throw that down. She'll be fine, though. Throw that hammer past. Mm. Okay, we don't want to be up here too far right now. I think I need to fall back. And we'll just meditate for a moment. There we go. Brock, get out of there. You're up too far, buddy. Let me put some walls here. Just to try and help. Stall you out. Unreliable stun. That would have killed her if it actually stunned properly. Gosh. Alright. At least we got it, finally. I like Jiki's strategy of unrelenting aggression. <laughs> uh, okay. Hello. Oh man, that didn't hit. He's actually just too evasive. Alright, let me go say hi to Furia. Okay, wait out the stun, and then slam into the wall, and then put up my own walls, and then walk it back. Well, bam, there we go. Put them down, get the cooldown back faster. I love meditation so much, dude. Actually the best item ever invented. Ooh, she's low. Okay, luckily I didn't need to finish that. Khan had that. We can finish off Vora. Okay. Hello, Seven. Sir. Reckoning. He's just gone. Alright. Let's not stick around. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Jeez. I've been broke lately, so I need money to give to this bozo for Dave. Yes, that's right. You have to feed me money, Nico. Get back to work. Get back in the mines. <laughs> uh -huh. I got mock exam result yesterday for my first mock. I got 29 out of 30 on reading. Yo, nice, Jamie. Why do none of your tanks have rejuvenate tank heavy comp? Yagaroth does. I don't know why Jiki got life rip. That was kind of silly. Even on a high DPS tank like Ruckus, it's still not worth it, because at the end of the day, he's only 800 DPS. It's not like you get lifesteal from the missiles. I think Rejuve would have been better. Or Meditation, like me. I would have got Rejuvenate if I had to time Grok. But we can't play around that strategy. And so Grok... The reason I, why I'm not buying it is because Grok needs to focus on Khan and Yagaroth the most. Because they're the... You know... yeah, They're both, like... Not super mobile tanks. Yagaroth can be, but they have a lot of CC, so she's struggling. And she also just needs a metric craft on a field. And Khan as well. Very low mobility. I can get out, so I can use Meditation, and Meditation will basically take all of that pressure off of Grok. So that way, you know, because he picked Spirit's Domain, he needs to focus like one or two people. I don't have to be one of those people he needs to focus. That's my plan. And it seems to be working pretty well. Ooh, you're one. Through the wall! There we go. Huge. Block that off. There we go. Huge ult. Uh, let me just go up. And up. And we're going to use meditation in the sky. And then get the kill. <laughs> yes! Azan, best tank. Let's go. We still win that game, baby. <clears throat> Beautiful meditation gaming. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. One support and four flanks, basically. Ah. <laughs> I am a flank, basically, yeah. Rejuve is the best green item in the game either way, it being an unconditional counter to Cauterize. Well, we did just win after I stacked up Meditation, so... Uh, I, I went 16 and 9, 89,000 damage. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I know I picked a crap talent, but I tried. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You didn't know, that, so that's okay. Next time you'll be ready, and that's what matters. That's what matters, Earthy. You'll be ready next time. I believe in you. You know, why don't you try it again? We can try it again, play Totemic, and we'll see the difference. <laughs> and also, in your Totemic build, you want to make sure... Oh, I guess it's too late now. But you want to make sure you have the Speed card as well. It is one of the best cards in the... Oh, it's Dawnforge. <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the best cards in the game. So, um, yeah. Uh, definitely worth using. <clears throat> hmm... How are you going to play the fun character to Yag when you're playing Seven? Oh no, are we complaining about Yag? Yag still remains my least favorite tank to fight because she's so buggy. That is true. She is weird. I just try to think about Yagaroth as little as possible. 
Because she's dumb. I hate her. <laughs> I mean, I like that she's unique. I like her aesthetically, but gameplay-wise, when it comes to actually the nitty-gritty of playing her... Ah! She makes no sense. <laughs> no, they did you see the clip me. I sent you yesterday? Uh, did I? I don't remember. I have a bunch of clips I'm supposed to look at. Um, oh, is that the clip of you on my stream getting the ultimate? I mean, I just saw that when it actually happened, so, yeah. Mm. I can't Yagroth by Nimble for faster acceleration. That would be funny. I would totally be down. <laughs> she can buy lethality after all, so, you know. <sighs> well... They have one tank yet again, but it's Terminus with Ying heals backing him up, and they have Octavia Talus as major DPS characters. Hopefully we'll be able to do this here. Uh, I think... Uh, do I want to go tempering on this map? I mean, I don't know if I need the extra crazy dash. It might be better, considering this map is so clunky, to have more dashes. So I might do Persistence instead with the pin build, and still by Kronos, and we'll just go. All right, let's check the build. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, Earthy. That is perfect. And yeah, you rush Kronos, Totemic Ward, and we just have all the totems, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be awkward, though, if we congregate on point when they put the ball up, if they activate the sun, which is definitely in their incentive to do. But uh, yeah, especially with the tanks we have, Inara, Rom, Yag... They are really going to benefit from the totems. I promise you that. And you're going to get so much more healing this match. Unless the match lasts for less amount of time because we win faster. That's always a possibility too. So, yeah. Alright. Let's start slapping away. Well, bam Stop it. Stomp. Please. Oh, I need Inara to put the wall down. Inara! <laughs> Crap. I couldn't get out of there. I got trapped by my own teammate. That's always the worst. Andrew forgot the bit redeem? Oh, I did. Um, I mean, it's eternal, so nobody cares. <laughs> I'll get it next match. I wanted I wanted Grok to have a better game with the sumos, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, don't worry about it. Alright, we just cap it there brilliantly. Not even really that much of a challenge, although we do got some people coming up top here, so let's pay attention to them. I'm just going to stay up here so that way when he teleports, which is now, I can... Blast him to pieces. He got his ultimate really quickly, but I guess he is playing Talus, just spamming overcharged into four tanks, so that's fair enough. Oh, that actually killed her. I didn't think that would wall slam. Brilliant. Come back here, Andy. <laughs> Easy peasy. There we go. Nice. You see how much larger the radius of the totems are? That's so good. Because it really helps. Right, you have three of them, they heal more, and the totems are larger, and then you have the speed card. It's just immense amounts of area healing. It's so good. So, 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 so good. And now you get to do all this extra damage. It's just a beautiful thing. I just wanted to say Ariel, so that way I could dodge his ultimate. I guess we got a little bit of damage on Octavia there, too. That's going to be the double. Uh, we're going to run away now, though. Just put walls there. Hard reset. Oh, where's the best item in the game when I need it? Ah, okay, well... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Let's group up. I'm gonna head up here. Ooh, we got Ying up here. And a bunch of other people. Right, let me reset. Ooh, off my grok. <laughs> okay, too many walls there. Uh, I can't see. Let me push you away. Oh, we gotta protect the grok so hard right now. That positioning is rough. A lot of flanks on either side. You do want to play in your totems, but at the same time, you also be careful, because you don't want to get, you know, just bullied, eviscerated, pincered between two flanks like that, right? Which definitely isn't easy on Dawn Forge versus their characters, so, yeah. I don't really blame you. <laughs> I would I would struggle to do that, too. Hello, Talus. You're about to lose. Uh, get it? Because ta ta Talus? Talus? Ha! <laughs> Anyways, ooh, nice. That should be free. Well, maybe not. Let me just put a wall up there. <laughs> just to secure that. 
Ooh, nice cripple. All right, let me take the walls down. And we are cruising this through right now. Uh, let me throw that on you. Boom, let the reckoning let me hit that next shot there. Easy follow-up. And, oh, he's coming back. Let me interrupt the Shatterfall. Let's stun my Grok. Palace is coming around, so let me blast away at him. There we go. Andro's one. I just hit someone completely different. There goes Yang. And we push it through. Beautiful. This is going so much better than last match. Andrew Chicken drafting Cancer and Casuals again. No way. <laughs> my team did this. I, I'm just playing his on right now. Um, admittedly, I asked them to do it this time, but last match they did it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're doing it again. And we're doing better. Because we made some mistakes last time. Yes. Capture point spawning Pirates with Grok seconds. and Lilith. That's the really disgusting comp. At least with Sumos, we have one healer. So if that one healer dies, then... Yeah, we, uh... Four, we kind of just lose. Two, one. With pirates, they can heal each other. And there's two of them. So if you get one, you still have another one to, de uh, to take out. It's crazy. You have ACDC shirt. No, this isn't ACDC. This is Grogan. <laughs> this is our battlefield. How, 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 does, how does that look like ACDC? <laughs> uh. Hello, Ying. Do you like damage? You should teleport again. Oh, where'd she go? Is she go up there? Yeah, there she is. Gotcha. Read that TP. Let me just throw that down. Oop. Oh, hello. Uh, maybe I can finish off Terminus past that. Throw that out. Yes, the Reckoning finish is good. I'm just gonna go in. Just in case. Didn't want to get hit by the Talus ult. Let me throw that down. I'm in so deep right now. What am I doing? Ah, uh, oh, I got a totem. Nice, it can heal me through the wall. We got another wall. We got all the walls. Let's go. All right. Um, I did not mean to press that button. <laughs> I did not mean to press that. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be an Andrew Chicken stream without me horrendously falling off the map in some way, would it? Okay, let me get some Rejuvenate now that I've got Kronos 3, and let's head out. This <clears throat> Yeah, they're also counterable with champions like Tyra. Uh, I don't know about Sky. The poison bolts are good, but uh, she is kind of flimsy. Could also do Betty, because at least she has Rose mobility. Star nine 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 donated one dollar. Got a dredge hurl build for you. My only request for you today. I'm I am not... actually home today, so I am ready to play. I don't. I. 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 I, uh, I wasn't planning on doing build quests today. This is our battlefield. <laughs> I wanted to play a Zon. <laughs> Once we do uh, sumos, which will maybe just be after this party, honestly, uh, you're definitely welcome to join that. People need to learn to read. To be fair, I think in the floating text by Nightbot, it does say that you can just request whenever. But uh, maybe I should update that. Because... I primarily meant that more for, like, a ranked stream, or, like, just, you know, champion request streams. But, like, when we're doing something focused, I don't necessarily want that. I think I should update that right now, actually. <laughs> just in case. If you squint, Dredge is basically is on. Hey, listen, Dredge is in one of his on's uh, card arts, so... Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> we can just do that. Easy peasy. Squeeze a lemon. Title doesn't say Azan, only just Azan Gaming. Yes, two words, one of which is Azan. I mean... <laughs> uh. Ah! It's fair enough. I'll do it anyways, just because I have to update the Nightbot message, I think. But then I'll update that, and that'll just be the updated policy going forward. Because, uh... Yeah. Uh, let me do that. And we don't quite have this yet, but I think we're going to get it pretty soon. Ooh, Talos manages to slip away. Let's just bully Octavia. And... Ooh, Jiki's actually dead. Alright, let me do this. You're not tracking me, Androx. Stop. Let me throw that 800,000 damage burst into him. Slam against the wall. Easy finish. The stun doesn't work once again. Oh my gosh. You would think the stun would work on Dawnforge. That's a Zon's palace. 
But it doesn't. What's going on here, man? Alright, Terminus is gone, and with that, we finally push it through. Let's go. Alright, let me update that Nightbot message. Da -da -da, nightbot.tv Okay, it should be in the timers section. Uh... Oh! Past me already did that, because the regular... The one that I'm talking about is disabled right now, and the other one doesn't mention anything about champion requests at all. Hmm. Okay. I guess I just haven't made that policy clear enough. Then. <laughs> I'll still do it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not planning on doing champion requests today. So if you do want to donate for something, please make it as on specific. Or once we get to sumos, just make it a sumo character, alright? <clears throat> well, there we go. 16 kills, 2 deaths on his on, and yeah, sumos. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Grok actually did much less healing that match, but that's because we won so quickly compared to last match, and so it just worked out. Plus, this time, he also was competing with Rom Subservience, which he didn't have last match, so... Yeah, Subservience is honestly a, a, almost as good as Ying there. Uh, yeah, that was pretty disgusting. Okay, so let me, um, let me steal Stealthy as Azan build before I forget. We'll do the... Uh, Azan request, we'll do the dredge request, and then we will probably enter Sumos after that. So, let's do this. Now, which one is it, Stealthy? For Andrew. That's it. <clears throat> Stealthy. You get the mustard and the mayo. You get the double treatment. You 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 have, you have lost. And now I'm coming for you with the punishment. How dare you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I also got to take a dredge build, don't I? Please tell me the dredge build is better. I'm sure it'll be. It'll be a Rose Star classic, right? Uh, <laughs> the name. Okay. Wait. Rose Star, please. Wait. Rose Star. Did you say this is a hurl build? Rose Star. Does blow the man down work on a hurl build? Rose Star. Rose Star. I think this build might have a, a problem. Rose Star. Rose Star. <laughs> Rose Star. It's, it's no longer no longer slows enemies. <laughs> Go ahead and fix it, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> it says an additional 30%. The way that works is with the default harpoon, you get 50% uh, slow. With that card, it turns into an 80% slow. But then with Hurl, Hurl overwrites the slow and makes it so there's no slow. Period. None whatsoever. It's one of those cards that's unusable with the build, sadly. But without the build, with like Abyss Spike, it's actually, it's almost a 100% slow. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah. This card and also Hole Piercer are the two cards that people make mistakes with all the time with Hurl. Six seconds of cooldown reduction, oh my god, that's insane. Except Hurl has no cooldown. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, we can salvage this. Um, so my build looks like this, which is healing. Increased healing received while below 50% health to get even more healing from Harpoon. More healing, expansive vault level 1 failure, and then I also have Curse of Weaponry. Because I'm not just spamming Hurl all the time, I'm also shooting. And this will help me recover my ammo. Um, which is similar to this build. So, to specifically modify your build with all these filler cards and stuff, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just replace this with maybe Sea Dogs, like this. And then, yeah, we'll just do level 2 cards like that. And that'll be how we do it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I usually just use something that looks like this, which is a bit different to this. Um, 
and, that, and that's okay. Uh, the, the extra filler cards and the way you build it is up to you. Um, as long as, yeah, you don't use the two cards that don't work with Earl. <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Expansive Alt at max. See, that's just unnecessary. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you should have put both the cooldown and slow card. Oh, gosh. That's what Stealthy would have done. Forced me to play a build where I waste 10 loadout points. Uh, <laughs> hey. Do is on first. Okay, I'll do is on first. We'll, we'll start with this suffering. And we gotta take my shirt off. Because Damba is the best. Asked for it. The best is on skin. I can't believe we have to taint this with Eternal, though. Probably use the purple skin for Eternal. Because it's the weird Abyssal skin for the Pyre character. And the build is Abyssal. Ugh. Oh god, that just goes crazy. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> goodness. Try try and keep the thirst to a minimum, okay? I get it. I understand it. But uh, this, is a, this is a PG stream. It's P PG, okay? Okay? Yeah. No, what is the rocker mode? That is uh, Terminus. All Terminus in the, uh, what do you call it? The Warders mode, the the soccer game mode, the minute time mode thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy, what happened to the matchmaking? Okay. Um, I hope those are Smurfs. They're probably not Smurfs. They don't look like Smurfs. What, what happened? We, we clobbered two games and then it decides to give us lower level players to go up against? Huh? <laughs> huh? That makes no sense. You have no idea. It's like it knew that I was throwing. It's like it knew that I was wasting two loadout points. Oh god! If I beat these players, they might think this build is good, and they might use it. Oh no! I need to not do good. I need my team to carry me. I need to go negative. <laughs> It's named Trash Can, yeah, but they might think that's sarcastic. Oh god, I'm just gonna hope they go watch the Azan Guide. I'm gonna promote the Azan Guide, and I'm gonna... Well, I can't even do that, because if I do good with this build and then promote the Azan Guide, it's gonna be really confusing. Then they're gonna... Ah! Face the light. I hate this so much. I genuinely can't stand this. I'm buying Kronos, and I'm buying Meditation. Because we have Furia, and I want to help her uh, heal by healing myself. Uh, that's how I got to. I got to look out for myself because I am number one. Uh, but Reckoning, just make sure he doesn't dash again. He didn't make it back anyways, and I stole the kill. Sorry, Ash. Uh, boop. You're one. Gosh, if only I wasn't playing Eternal, then I wouldn't have needed one extra shot to do that. Re. Oh, I missed. Wait, I'm bad. My loadout is affecting my aim. Crap. They're all new players except Tiberius. Oh, that's just brilliant. Thank you, matchmaking. <sighs> okay. Well, um... Let me pop through here. You know what? I'm gonna push her off the map and simultaneously hurt my KDA to make myself look worse, so that way they don't play this build. That was intentional that time. Unlike the, uh, the, uh, unlike last match. <laughs> um, let me do more of this. Best item in the game. And let's head out. I'm gonna buy Meditation in Sumos later, because it's the best item. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, hello, Koga. Bonk. He has no idea what's happening. And that's not... An offense to him. I'm not trying to be mean. He he. That that's the matchmaking we've been given here, for some reason. He he does not deserve to be playing up against uh, uh, seven-year veterans like me. What is going on here? Paladins. The wheel's spinning, but the hamster's dead. Oh god. Uh, we're just pushing this through. Oh man. So sad. Can you use your special CEO Hyra's powers to buff Sentinel? Honestly, I'd be interested in maybe bringing the item up to 600 shield at max. Thank you. Because 
I, I like the idea of getting a shield after kill a lot, but 450 does seem kind of small. With 600, I think it would make a lot of sense, because 600 was the scaling of old kill to heal, which ignored cauterize, and Sentinel ignores cauterize, right, because it's a shield. But it has the added effect of the, you know, CC resistance, but it's also more expensive. And then at 600, it'll scale better with Guardian. But also, regardless of the scaling, it gets countered by Wrecker, so... To that end, I think it actually makes more sense to buff it just a little bit higher. I think that might make a lot of sense, personally. But, uh... Yeah, maybe that's a hot take, I don't know. 600 shield plus Guardian 3 is 870 shield. Yeah. But the thing is, with that, you have to invest in two full items. And if you're playing a character who doesn't otherwise have a shield, then, yeah, you are uh, <laughs> spending a lot just to get a glorified... Uh, excuse me, a glorified kill to heal. And then if you have, like, a shield tank on your team and they're already buying Wrecker for you, that's uh, still a waste at the end of the day. You just... Remove the cap of three elims so you can sack the shield more. Wait, there's a cap. Honestly, I don't know if that's even necessary to remove that cap, because the thing is, if you kill more than three enemies, you're already going to win the game. Or win the point fight or whatever, right? So, like, that's not your concern. Like, you, you don't need the extra shield at that point. But, um... Yeah. Normally, you just, you won't even have that happen, because... You know, the kills are going to be more spaced out than that, and you as a person are probably only going to contribute to, like, three kills in a point fight, on average. You finally recommend is on second talent over the first one? Tempering, you mean? I recommend tempering if you're good at it. Like, if you're skilled with a Zon. If you're beginning with a Zon, if you're learning the character, if you need consistency, then I still recommend persistence. Just because it gives you more forgiving cooldowns. But yeah, if you know what you're doing... Absolutely, I have seen the light. <laughs> and tempering can be great. It just requires much more perfect gameplay. You have to be very good. You have to know what you're doing very deliberate, right? Oh, I'm just getting beans from the pyre. Hot and fresh. Delicious. Um, yep, there's another one. Alright, I'll just stand here. <laughs> In the light! Yes! God, that was just sad. That wasn't even, like, interesting, you know? It would have been interesting if I was forced to, like, try and carry with his on with this playstyle. This garbage piece of trash, despicable loadout. But I didn't even get to do that. We just rolled them because of the matchmaking. I got top kills! And I killed myself once, and that's the only reason I died. Oh, my God. Are you real, he asks. Okay, there. I have done enough shameless self-promotion. Let me queue again, and we'll play Hurl Dredge this time for the donation request. <sighs> that was so sad. Mm. Won't Kronos and the loadout compensate its cooldown reduction? For tempering, uh, it won't fully compensate. Because the thing is, if you have Chronos 3, right, that's 30% reduced cooldown reduction. With Tempering, that's 25% increased cooldowns. So with Chronos 3, at that point, you'll have 5% reduced cooldowns, which is basically the base cooldowns. And then, yeah, with the Dash cooldown that's card, you'll get even further cooldown reduction. But that's still going to be worse cooldowns than if you just bought Chronos 3 with Persistence. That's the thing. Which I still do on persistence because I can just I can have a seven second cooldown on conviction and reckoning and that's awesome right actually even lower on reckoning because I use above max ire get that three seconds additional cooldown reduction so it, it is still it, no matter which way you cut it you're always gonna have better cooldowns with persistence as long as you're buying Chronos on both builds right which you should do it's good. But now we're going to play some Dredge for the one champion request today that I didn't actually want to do, but I'm doing anyways, just because, yeah, I feel bad that I didn't specify that earlier. <laughs> but yeah, we're not doing any more champion requests today, unless 
once we get to the sumos if you want to request a sumo character like a healer or a tank right but yeah we're going to do some hurl here and we are going to hurl harpoons at the enemies and it'll be brilliant uh which skin should i go he has such good skins he has such he has so few skins but the few skins he do does have are, are really good merrymaker omega the golden weapon not necessarily the gold skin but the golden weapon Where's is awesome my milk and cookies i guess it's out of season so we'll, we'll do omega instead probably my favorite dredge skin honestly and they've got a bunch of flanks, DPS, the works. And we've got real matchmaking this time. Yes, thank goodness for that. That's brilliant. What does tempering do besides give you longer cooldowns? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, it, it, it seems that you have forgotten to read the first part of the talent. The first part of the talent actually says exactly what it does in very plain text without getting into too many specifics. Basically, it makes your abilities 50% stronger. It makes the dash travel 50% farther, and the stun lasts for a longer amount of time. It makes Reckoning, which is your knockup ability, right? The big hammer. It makes that do 50% more damage, so it goes up to 450 damage. And that scales even higher with the 12% bonus damage from your passive ire, right? And then the walls have 50% more health, and then the amount of health they get above ire has also been increased to 70%, which is normally a 50% bonus. So you just get more everything. Don't let the abyss take They're the really strong abilities. All right, Hurl, the build that has been requested, modified to make it uh, not use a card that's <laughs> sadly a waste of loadout points in this build. And let's do some... What do I want here? Bonnie's just Three, screaming. Two, uh, I think I'll do some armor plating and some damage. There we go. I think all it gives overrides the cooldown reduction. That could be mitigated by Chronos on the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. I'm not saying it's not good. I like it. I use it all the time. But, yeah. The fact does remain that if you are a less experienced is on, it's simply easier to play with the more forgiving cool ones. So, I recommend that for getting into him, and also there are situations where you don't necessarily need the power of the abilities, you just need more abilities, right? Like, if you need a bunch of extra sustain, if you run Grim Deliverance, Eternal Strife, and then Persistence, you get the most healing possible. And if you run Tempering, you get less healing, not just because of the lifesteal, but also because of the fact that you get more cooldowns, which means more healing from your cards. And also, more abilities means more dashes, means more repositioning, means more walls, right? But certainly, the powerful dash can be worth it, and especially on, like, an open map. Like, I really enjoy the big dash on, like, Timbermill or Frog Isle or any of those maps that you can really use it. But on a map like Ice Mines, where are you going to use the big dash, necessarily? <laughs> I guess on the push, but even then, it's just such an awkward map, you know? So, I think you just gotta be smart about when you use it. Unlike that dredge ult, which was terrible. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't use Eternal, you know? Either talent will be great. Just don't use that piece of trash, whatever you do. Together we'll rule this land. Eat. I'm gonna try not to get hooked here. I don't have a portal for him yet. I am just not hitting those harpoons on Androxus. Getting the best on me. E boom. Ooh, huge. There's some damage. Nice, Pippa. That was good. Aw. I think she got nullified by Torvald there. She's probably gonna go in with an ult. And that was just a mean root. Jeez. We've got double roots, I just realized. We have subjugation and we have Imani. Crazy. Don't worry. It's such a shame that Dredge isn't a giant ship that you can control like Imani Dragon. Oh, the ultimate? Yeah, you could do a much cooler ultimate, honestly. You could even take inspiration from Hydroid and pull, like, some tentacle monster out of the ground. <laughs> I, I don't know. At least, I guess it works, though. It has its situations. It has its skilled use cases. It's probably not even close to the top of their rework priority list. The ult pulls you closer, like Nyx ult, but deals 1500 damage. Uh, I don't know about that, necessarily. The thing with Dredge ult is you're supposed to combo it. 
I don't think it by itself is supposed to be reliable for kills, apart from you strategically using it. Like, when someone is flanking you and they've committed a movement ability or something like that, right? Or just, like, throw it on his own after he slams to the ground. Something like that. Because... How did I not get told by that? Okay. But yeah, because with default dredge, you use the harpoon. Wait, I forgot. This doesn't have uh, the jump card in it. But yeah, you use the harpoon. You slow them, right, with Abyss Spike or Scuttle. And then because of that slow, it's harder for them to escape the ultimate without committing a movement ability. And you basically use it to force the movement ability out of them, or they blow up. And this patch now, also, you have to remember, the ultimate doesn't get affected by DR unless you buy Arcane Warding. Well, by, by armor plating, I guess I should say. <laughs> Haven, right? So, yeah, it'll always do the full 2,500 damage, meaning it indirectly got buffed this patch. And that's pretty good. <laughs> like, there are skillful ways to use the ultimate, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And because of that, I'm not necessarily sure such an effect would be necessary, you know? Like, Dredge is such a weird character, because he is, you know, he has the potential to be one of the most bland characters in the game, just spamming. If you don't put in investment in it, right? If you don't learn how to play him properly. And, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's what a lot of people's Dredge experience is like. But then he has all these little quirks. And these little quirks give him, actually, I would say, a much higher skill ceiling than a surprising number of damage champions, right? Like, even Betty LaBamba, he has a way higher skill ceiling than Betty LaBamba, because you have the broadside, which I have yet to use, which is a movement ability with a card, and yeah, you have all these weird quirks with how you can use the ultimate skillfully to make an ability that's otherwise pretty unreliable, right? Turning that into an ability that's consistent and surprises the enemies, and then flanking with the portals. And if you want to hit skillful shots on skillful flanks who are actually trying to be evasive, then that's a lot of work, and that's not something I can do, and I don't really have the experience carrying over from any other character, because no one has quite a steep and arca stretch. Rebounding shots as well. I'm just going to throw that there. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. She was distracted. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We are just cruising this through right now. Comparing Dredge with Betty is unacceptable. Dredge can do plays, Betty can't. Yeah, the most you see out of Betty, which is admittedly still pretty nice, is, uh, yeah, doing, like, really cool flick shots with her movement ability on flying targets. Which, yeah, I, that's nice. But that's it. <laughs> what, are you gonna, what skill is there to be had with Hail of Bombs? You throw it on the point, or at a choke point, and you do, you do a bunch of damage, or the enemies run away. <laughs> I guess the most skill you can get out of that ability is positioning it so that way the enemies run where you want them to. But, come on. <laughs> That's not even remotely the same as what Dredge can do with his movement tech, right? All right. All right. All right. Yes, absolutely. If you want a proper tutorial on Dredge or you just want to watch what I'm talking about, yeah, go watch XSTV on Twitch, on YouTube. He is the Dredge man. And... I know he hasn't been playing as much stretch recently, but he still has plenty of, yeah, skill with the character. And yeah, I just, I am not the person to do the skillful dredge stuff. <laughs> he is not someone who I would say I'm even remotely comfortable trying to play at a high level. Woo! Oh, I didn't quite make it over there. For only level two, that's still pretty good mobility though. I only have Crow's Nest at level two in this build still working out for me pretty well. You know what? I'm going to try and go in. Whee! Oh, uh, there we go. Save me! Yes, Portal. Thank you. Alright, Nyx is trying to stay alive. Doesn't quite have enough healing, though, sadly. We can absolutely decimate that Sarasone. You know what? We're still making plays. I'm going to put a Portal here. And we're just going to bomb their spawn. Let me throw some broadsides up there, I guess. Just equip them out of spawn. Just gonna throw that there. Ah, uh, that didn't work. She don't have an ult. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like we don't have that. Unfortunate. Why isn't Hail Bombs are deployable with HP yet? Saying this is level 50, Betty. And why is Controlled Fury a talent? Yeah, I don't know. 
I see what they were doing with Controlled Fury. I don't think they intended Controlled Fury to be a direct nerf. Clues in the name, right? It's meant to give you a more concentrated hail bomb, but... I guess I just didn't really think it through. <laughs> all the way. Because on, on paper, just the idea of having, like, a concentrated explosion that does a lot of heavy Country damage sounds good. And I guess against Yagaroth, sitting still, it would be. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's just not what Betty's meant to do. Five, yeah, I finished four, the spray challenge. Three, I got it done eventually. Two, it's really boring, one. though, for sure. I don't even know what I want to buy. So I guess I'll buy... a uh, veteran. Yay. <laughs> Uncontrolled Fury increases the number of bombs fired and the range they spread by 25%. Oh boy. Now see, that just sounds toxic. <laughs> that just sounds rude. I mean, yeah, it would certainly be effective, though. That's the thing. Hello. Where are you going? Ah, come back! Sir! I have arcing projectiles. Maybe I should use them. Oh, that hit the wall. Oh my gosh. Where is this guy going? <laughs> He's so slippery. Stop it. No, the one shot I hit on him hits the reversal. Okay, there we go. Got him. Jeez. Uh, hello, Tyra. There's a huge amount of damage into her. Throw some bombs on the point. Skewer. Hi. Gonna ult me? Ooh, almost had that flick, actually. Kind of predicted it. Just not quite in the ballpark, though. Gotcha. Ooh, that was mean. Alright. Uh, Andro's still back here. Let me skewer him. That's the double. And that is also GG. Let's dance on point. Nice one! Yeah! No, Evie, don't do it. Evie, don't do it! No! Stop it! Oh my gosh, she's just emoted. Ah! Bomb! There we go. Dance. No, why is Saris doing this? Stop! Okay, let me dance. Finally. There we go. I did it. God. Goofy game. Goofy, goofy game. Okay, there we go. We did it. GG's. Dredge Gaming with this Hurl build. I do miss having Expansive Vault as a filler. That's the one thing I immediately notice about this build. I would swap out one of these filler yeah, cards for that. Pajamas. Which one is up to you? Uh, I do like the idea of Crow's Nest as a filler, though. That was a surprisingly good idea. Like, yeah, it's not going to be as strong as Crow's Nest 5, obviously. But even at a low level, it's still some extra mobility. And I think that's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just make sure you're not using the bad cards. That's the, uh, the most important thing at the end of the day. Thank you for the Prime Sub, by the way. Appreciate that. That's awesome. And now, chat, it's officially time. Welcome to all. We're going to do some... Oh, perfect. We got a raid for it. We're going to do some sumos. Let me actually update the name of the stream. Sumo Gaming. There we go. That's the new name of the stream, because we're playing sumos. So, uh... Yeah, here's how it goes. Thank you for the raid, by the way. It's actually perfect timing. That was the most perfect raid of the year. Um, so yeah, let's do... Um, what map do we want to do to kick things off? I'd say... Let's do... Uh, I feel like doing some bizarre. Let's just do the long map. Get that going at the very start here. So how this works, chat is you can do exclamation mark sumo rules in the chat if you want the specific rules. But, it's very simple. Both teams have four tanks, one support. And they can be whichever support or tank you choose. Doesn't matter, as long as they're tanks, right? We go into advanced settings here, and we turn off cauterize. Anti-healing set to disabled, right? No more passive anti-healing. You can buy whatever items you want. And the whole point is it's a massive brawl on the objective. And you also have to be uh, wary. There are some rules about the healer, which you can see in the exclamation mark sumo rules. If you kill the healer uh, before the 20 minute mark, you must jump off the map or otherwise uh, end yourself, right? You must go to the spawn and throw yourself into the spawn doors, right? The enemy team's spawn doors. That's against the rules. You cannot kill the healer before the 20 minute mark. The point is we want to try and farm these healing numbers, right? We want to make it brawly. 
you are allowed to kill them after the 20-minute mark, and that's to try and break up stalemates if it does go too long, which usually it does end up going past the 20-minute mark, and it changes how the game is played. It's the late game of sumos, right? The only time you are allowed to kill the healer before the 20-minute mark is if they go on the objective, because healers are not allowed to contest, right? And that's to make it so, hey, if all my tanks are dead, well, I as the support can go to point, and they legally can't kill me, right? No. You can be killed if you go on the point as the healer, so uh, go to the point at your own discretion and uh, at your own risk, right? Um, so yeah, that is how we do it. That is how the sumos are played. And this is the first sumo with the new item store, which I'm really excited to see. So we're going to do 5v5 North America. We're going to do open draft for this first one. And the password will be on the screen right there. One, two, three, top left of the screen. So type that in. Make sure you're on North America. Make sure your crossplay is on. And let's go. I forgot to reset the party, didn't I? Well, I guess they got an unfair advantage, didn't they? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, how do we want to match make this? Uh, we probably... Okay, we do have two high levels there. And then they've got a 500. We've got two 200s. I think that's reasonable. Um, <laughs> although, do we want to keep the 7 main and the Eevee main on the same team for the sumos? Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Just to split that up. There we go. That's real gaming. We got this. And so, yeah, you can play whatever healer you want, whatever tank you want, but make sure you have four tanks, one healer. And Stealthy is already going for the healer. All right, so that means the rest of us have to play tanks. And, um, well, shoot, I say I just kick things started with Azan. If you haven't seen the Azan, Azan. guide yet, go watch the Azan guide. <laughs> the guide is not how to play Azan in sumos. Um, as a matter of fact, he's not even necessarily a top-tier tank in sumos. But um, we will play Azan nonetheless because he's very fun. And, of course, go shirtless the entire way, because, uh, it's his on. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, we'll see how these new items shape up. Because shield tanks could potentially buy Guardian and have it be very worthwhile, because shields will scale very high. People can still buy Wrecker, obviously. But tanks have low DPS, so even though a lot of tanks will be buying Wrecker, the shields will still take a long time to kill, and potentially... If they decide not to go for Wrecker for whatever reason, you'll just have really indestructible shields. So that could be an interesting strategy. Another interesting thing is going to be the dynamic here with Unbound and Sentinel. Because you're certainly going to want to buy Unbound for the stuns, right? Azan stun, Ash stun, Khan stuns. But you then will be completely susceptible to tanks like Ash who have knockbacks. And those knockbacks with Ash, as we know in the past, have been game-winning. Literally. So that's something potentially very spicy as well. And I'll kind of be able to participate with that, because I have a knockback on my ultimate, and I can push people off to point. But that Ash is potentially a very huge pick. Ash, I think, just got bumped up at tier in sumos. So I'm going to play uh, probably Persistence here, just because of the cooldowns. I want the low cooldowns, and we're going to go my pin 2.0 build with cooldown reduction as well, because, I mean, it's sumos. Now, Stealthy, Maelstrom of Carnage is a, probably a very bad idea. I'm just going to say, because you're going to be forced to hug the point. They, you will be killable. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I don't... Going over here. Going over here. <laughs> Going over here. Uh, let me buy some Kronos to start off. And, Four, three, yeah, two, oh god, she's not actually one. doing that, is she? Oh no. We might just lose this first sumo match, honestly. It's a good thing we have Rom. Oh boy, but he's not playing Earthy. You are just full of the wrong talents today, I'm sorry, man. You gotta play some Servience in the sumo, what are you doing? Okay, well, let's try and figure out how to play with a Maelstrom Lilith on the team. See if it works. Arizon's almost dead. I can't give t Chase, though, for some reason I got stuck on the wall. Uh, Grok is playing Totem, but there are not enough Totems for Zahn, and he's gonna fall, and Yagroth is probably gonna fall here as well. Yeah, there we go, wow. Severe lack of healing from the enemies out here. We don't have Bulldozer either, it's not like we're spamming the Totems. Although, that's a good idea. Maybe let me just slap that for a little bit here, and throw this out, and no more shield for you, and you die. There we go, we're in complete control. Nifty. Hi. 
You can still shoot me and get ultimate charge, by the way. Fun fact, uh, if you need it. <laughs> Pad those stats, question either. Alright, there's that. Azan's one. Let me just finish. Go bam. Yeah, there you go. And let's just holy. I'm not seeing totems too much on the field here at all. Is our Yagroth like shooting at them? Is that what's going on here? I don't know. Uh, let me dash through. Oh, actually, I don't even need to. The swarm is just that strong. Okay. Well, this is going completely not how I expected. <laughs> Considering this is. Sumos are usually supposed to be pretty long. That's silly. Alright, you're not allowed to do that. I'm not going to get stunned either. But I'm going to cancel it so I can get the ultimate charge back, and then we're going to push you away. Not far away enough, though. Okay. Let's just bully Swordsman. There we go, no more con. And Ash is trying to run away. Let me float up here. And... Wabam. They are not grouping up enough, and they are not staying enough in the totems, is what I'm seeing here right now. Because that's the only reason I could think of why they'd be dying so much. So... Yeah. Ooh, hello. Uh, I don't think we saved that. That was, like, weirdly laggy, too. Okay. <laughs> Strange. Let me just float around here. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going up. I'm just going to come back down. Wabam. And then dash around. Low cooldowns for the win. Another thing that might be interesting in sumos, due to the lack of copyrights, is a life rip on those really high DPS champions. Now, which champion would that be? I don't know. Maybe Yagroth, considering the area damage? Maybe Rom, considering the single target damage? But that's a big maybe, and I'm not sure, ultimately, if it is worth it. I'm not asserting that it is. I'm just positing the question. Because it is interesting. 60% lifesteal, no cauterize. It's an idea, right? I'm just going to keep pushing up, though. Because uh, <laughs> we're playing really aggressive here. Our support is really aggressive, and we're kind of just winning. I'm not seeing totems. They just, they're always, like, destroyed. Someone must be blowing them up. <laughs> and that is the risk of playing Grok in Sumos. He is the best support in Sumos. As long as the totems aren't destroyed. <laughs> oh man, what is happening right now? Khan should be thinking about, by the way, with his ultimate at this stage in the game, going up to spawn and throwing us in there for an instant kill. Because you can't exactly throw someone off the map here, right? It's going to keep doing damage. Well, bam. I'm just going to push you off the point. Stay over there. <laughs> Isolated and alone, and I'm behind you now. I'm above you now. Uh, he's got the healing juice, though, but he will still die to the focus fire. All right. Uh, whoa! Uh-oh, crap. Do I die here? Oh, I don't. Team's got me. Thank you guys so much. Beautiful. Ah. And burst down Ash here. She's got a lot of healing. But... Wow, look at her health go up. Jeez. Okay. Uh, quick stun. Actually, you don't even need it. You're dead. Um, we have this here, I think. If we can knock Ash off the point. Let me go for the push. There we go. Oh, Grok was still contesting. He knew what I was going for. Well played. The Zon is just going to get burst at you, though. There we go. Gotcha. Yag's off the point. Oh, careful. Dangerous move. Um, ooh, she is in rolly form. Yeah, definitely the person we focus there. Let me stun you into the wall. That's a kill. Let me try this. Line him up. Oh, that just didn't even really affect her. Wait, no, it affected her enough. Okay, we just pushed through. There we go, knockback. Yes. Amazing. Oh, yeah, lifesteal on Khan. Absolutely. 60% lifesteal on that character? That sounds pretty busted. A lot of rejuvenate coming up from the enemy team, but yet it feels like they have a way worse healing than we do. Surprisingly. Um, is it worth it for me to buy Bulldozer? Like, one point of Bulldozer just to destroy the totems faster? They also have Azan Walls. Do I, well, do I want to sacrifice one of my four limited item slots for that, though? That's the thing. Because we could do something that might be more beneficial. Obviously, we need rejuvenate. Um, I'm just going to focus the enemies instead. I'll do Rejuvenate. I don't think I want to focus that. This will do. 
I'm heading out early, gonna play some Doka Pond. Have a fun stream, Andrew Chicken. Well, hey, thank you for tuning in, Rose Star. I appreciate the donation, as always. Alright. Let's just. Ooh, never mind. Not focus on pushing them back. I definitely die here. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Both Azans got ulted. Okay. <laughs> well, Azan has been taken out of the fight. <laughs> Goodbye. No more Azan. Man. I guess we were just too sexy to, to be in this fight then. Man. Let's uh, pop in here then. This is five tanks versus four, not gonna lie. <laughs> kind of feels that way. And there Yag just ulted again because she killed me. And I am, uh, yeah, I, I was on a massive streak, so I just gave her a metric ton of Volt Charge. Stealthy's getting dangerously low. Remember, you can only kill the support when they're on the point. So you can kill Stealthy now, if at all possible. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Stealthy came in with a plan, and by golly, I was too short-sighted to see it. But Stealthy's actually popping off this match, I will say. Whoops. Ooh, did not catch her. All right. Just trying to go for that goal right there. Just mid-air. Catch! <laughs> All right. Uh, let me play back here. Do some damage. I am still reasonably self-sufficient. Even though I'm running a low healing build. Because, yeah, no cauterize. And I'm a Zon, and I'm taking off angles. And it's reasonably effective. Alright, I have ult, so I'm just gonna use it for a big damage tool. Probably right about there. Yep, hit all three of them. Well, bam. Not that much damage, though. Yeah. Actually, capping this pretty well. We're struggling right now. Let me get a wall down. Nice kill on Khan there. Eh. Going up. They're getting a lot better healing now. Um, ooh, we've got. Lilith ult, though. And Grok ult's not going to be enough to save Yagroth. They're off the point. That's some free cap for us right now. I'm going to try and focus Ash. I think she's killable here. Ooh! Oh, not enough. Not enough. And she's back to full health, and I can't push her away. I got stuck on the wall. All right, Bully Con. There we go. That's a kill. Finish is on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ash. Off the point, and you're in a really bad spot away from the healer. That should be a kill. Well, bam We're still not capping yet, but it's one versus... Five right now with this Yag. She's rolling around trying to make it happen. I can stun her there briefly. And there we go. She's dead. Huge. Alright. Um. Ooh. I can't throw it there for some reason. That was weird. You're off your horse. Hello. Swordsman, what are you doing? Hi. Yes, I'm here. I'll stun you too. We both have the same movement ability. Isn't that neat? Oh, I'm getting ulted. Ah! Oh! I just interrupted his ult in a weird way. Okay. Mm, whoop. Oh, he used it again. He's grabbed our healer. Now, you can't kill the healer, but you can certainly incapacitate her and throw her very far away. You're gonna pay for that. We're off the point, though. Oh my god, why was no one on the team contesting? Guys! <laughs> Gosh! I have to contest too, apparently, as it's on. I didn't realize I was a point tank here. Ah! Run away! Stop it! <laughs> I'm going over here. Half of us were dead. Well, I saw Rom right there. I know you were dead, but... Hmm. I guess they're turning this match around, slowly but surely. Ow! Maybe I will go and buy some Bulldozer then, just to uh, help out a little bit with the Totem Destruction. See if I can target them when I can. Nice kills though, huge. That was late, but it doesn't matter, you're gone. Uh, there's Azan. Azan 1v1! <laughs> this is no longer 1v1, this was never 1v1! Yagroth is just coming with the kill right now, okay. Unfortunate. Let me wall them off, just to troll. Full of Yag. Well, bam, stop her in place. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Khan body blocked that crap. I couldn't save that, I'm sorry. Push you away, it doesn't matter. As long as they don't contest, though, that's the thing, right? Let me go say hi to Khan. I'm just gonna separate him from the team. Yeah, let me push you around. <laughs> 
wall you off. Haha. -ha. Into the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, Azan is such a bully. Yes. Ah, he just got full healed by the Grok. Jeez, he just got all the totems. He got two of them. Alright. Well, I'm bored fighting you now. Let me go say hi to Ash. Ah. Over there we go. Keep throwing damage into her. She should die here soon. Oh, that battle shout. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, she is healing so much. Ooh, my Reckoning does damage to the totems. That's cool. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, four in a row! I have never done that much! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. I love this character. <laughs> oh, man. Oh gosh, I'm red. <laughs> that is beautiful. No! <laughs> Dude, this one is such a bully. This character is the best. Alright, there we go. Gotcha. Let's just win this overtime now, if we can. Oh, man. Icon. Stun into the wall. Ah, you've just got that annoying shield. He doesn't even have Guardian. That's surprising. It's just so hard to destroy. Stun. Ooh, there we go. Gotcha. Nice. Um... Nope. <laughs> Do you have another ult, Jiki? <laughs> Do you have another ult? <laughs> Don't think so. Alright, let me throw mine up. Nice kill. Let me just throw a huge amount of damage on the point. Ah. Alright. Oh, we just... We are struggling on damage right now. Alright, let me focus down the totems if I can. There's one down. There's another one. Destroy it with the Reckoning. And they actually see nine there. Okay. Wow. I must buy some. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Take a drink. Let's have a breather here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to rush Bulldozer. And then I got to think really carefully about what my final item should be. But I should be able to two-tap the totems now with Bulldozer 3. So... I don't think I want morale boost. I don't Capture think my ultimate is good enough here for that. Nimble is interesting. I don't really need that much survivability apart from Yagaroth. So I guess maybe I could do Wrecker because I feel like the only thing I need is damage Five, four, three, against the shields. Two, one. It's an idea. I'll think about it. Ah. <laughs> okay. Back to the point. If we win this, we win the game. I like that idea. I like winning. Winning is, like, my favorite thing to do. Alright, no totem. No totem. No totem. Absolutely destroyed. He's bringing out ult. But that is absolutely not going to be enough, I hope. Although, where's my healer, dude? I need healing. Alright, there's stealthy. Um, Yes, heal me back up. Thank you. Alright. The totems are going down. Wow, 1,200 damage to the wall. Nice. Oh, man. Every totem is a one-shot, actually. That's better than I thought. Um, there we go. Um, he should die, hopefully. Break that totem. Good. Push you around. Yeah, the totems are falling. There's another one. Break it down. Break it down. The AoE also helps me get them down, too. Oh, I didn't get it off in time. I actually used the conviction cooldown, but, uh, yeah, it didn't really work out for me. Let me just push you away, then. I really need to heal, though. There is Lily. I need to find her. Oh, she's trapped by Khan. Let me come over here. You will not get away with that. You will not get away with it. There we go. And I get my healing. Thank you, Stealthy. Okay. Let's see now. Oh, focus Yag. There's a Reckoning. Wall's in the way. Oh, all right. That's still a failed ult. Good. Bully. There we go. She's dead. Gonna watch out for the new totems. He's gonna put them down soon, right? Nope. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that wasn't a one-shot. Stay off the point if you know what's good for you. I'm not afraid to blast. 
Yeah, I am doing a good job of making sure they get no healing. This is a lot easier to kill them now. Wonderful. Break that. He's trying to get a little bit of contest. Off the point, Croc. Stop it. I see those totems. There's one down, two down, three down, no totem. Uh, stop you in place, that's a kill. Um, alright. I don't know why I tried to just pin a totem, but there we go, they're dead. He's trying to contest again. You're so cheeky. Oh, she got it off anyways. Well, over here you go. Let me just lock you in place. Nope, knock away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, break that. Uh, ow! Lots of damage. Running away. Find the Lilith. Hug the Lilith for approximately two seconds. There we go. Amazing. We just have like one mobile totem and it's working for us. <laughs> and that's what it is. Oh man. Alright, there we go. Gotcha. Ooh, Grok's on point. Okay, he ran away. There are two minutes until the healer is legally killable. So... Nice. Oh, those totems are so dead. Rom's also helping destroy them, that's why. Beautiful. Ooh, that ult's coming out, that's huge. This is looking really, really good. We're gonna wrap this up here in a moment. Yeah, there it is, GG's. And that's the first sumo game with the new item store. Very silly. I'm glad we got a short out of that. <laughs> Oof. 23 kills out here from me. Lilith never even died, despite playing on point for a lot of that game. Only 372,000 healing, but she also got top damage in the lobby. She was really more of a damage dealer than anything. And we actually had a lot fewer deaths on the team as a result, funnily enough. Grok was no slouch either. He also got top damage on his team. Second top damage in the lobby. Both supports actually being huge damage he dealers here. And yeah, Grok only died once. I actually don't know why he died. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, Azan gaming for the win. Nice. Alright, let's go again. Let me make sure I leave the party this time. I don't want to <laughs> accidentally give an unfair advantage to people trying to join. We'll do Frog Isle this time, because for some reason, even though Frog Isle is a terrible map, I just, I don't know why, but I like it with sumos. I guess because it's open. I don't know. It's the sumo map for me. But yeah, crossplay, anti-healing disabled, and we'll just do open draft again, because that sounds nice. So, yeah, the password will be on the top left of the screen. One, two, three. Get ready to type it in. Make sure your crossplay is on. Make sure you're on North America. Let's go. Where can you see the clips when you publish them? Uh, if you're talking about Twitch clips, then they'll just be on my Twitch channel. But if you're talking about, like, shorts and YouTube videos, that's on my YouTube channel. Exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. My YouTube channel is actually a lot bigger than my Twitch channel, so... If you discovered me from Twitch and don't know about the YouTube, it's actually pretty interesting. Pretty rare. Consider yourself special. All right, uh, we'll put Jiki over here, and I think we'll also put. Um, I think we'll just leave it like this. Yeah. So here we go. Let's start up the game. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna play this time. I probably won't do his on right now. Swordsman is just gonna do Khan again, I guess. Saw that one coming a mile away. Should I support? I could be the healer here. You know what? I think I will. Uh, I'll play some Pip. Pip. Because I think Pip is very funny. So, we will do the Mustard Man here. Be the healer for the team. I don't actually want to use the Mustard Man skin, though, so let's play Inventor Pip. The new one. Beautiful. And... Alright. I'm liking the tank comp. Fernando's actually... Fernando and Yagaroth both, and Ash, I guess, are all really nice if the enemy team has a Grok, because they can destroy the totems just by casually doing damage to other players, right? Like, as Fernando, you're shooting at the tanks on the point. If you position yourself in a way that you're also piercing through the totems, you can passively destroy them. And even though he has really low DPS, could still also be worth it to buy a uh, uh, Bulldozer in a sumo just for that. Because, you know, that's the only way Grok can heal the team, right? So, it's, it's an interesting thought. Also, we gotta switch to the pepper skin, because apparently someone in my chat has no taste and decided to run this skin. Um, so, the, yay. Thanks for the skin request. <laughs> okay, I don't want to be that mean. I know that some people have a visceral hatred for the skin. 
I, I think it looks a little bit weird, but I also appreciate some things about the skin. I really like the weapon, personally. The animations on it are pretty nice. All right, Combat Medic. Let's do Combat Medic. Just this build. We're going to run Pep in the Set, Medicinal Excellence Reload. And we are going to start Deft Hands, of course. Going to have two items go directly towards healing. Those obviously will be Deft Hands and Kronos. And then the remainder of my items should be focused on whatever other utility I can and maybe some survivability for past the 20-minute mark. Although last match didn't even get to the 20-minute mark. So, could potentially do shield busting with Wrecker or some extra deployable damage with Bulldozer, although I don't think we'll need that with Inara, it's just Mother's Grace. We'll see. But there, Maldamba is trying out the recently buffed Ripen Gourd. The healing is going to be exactly the same as it was in Sumo's past, but it'll now do damage. And that'll actually be pretty huge, because that's a lot of extra ultimate charge, right? Not just uh, damage, right? But the damage will be helpful too. Just that trickle passive damage. It'll be really good. But Pip is absolutely an S tier support in Sumos. Because look at all that area healing. Especially when they're so grouped up. I can hit like three or four people with my primary fire alone. And that's 900 healing per second. And then yeah, I have one of the best ults as well. But look at how fast he built up that ult. Healing and dealing damage to basically <laughs> like eight people there. Wow. We're definitely going to need some Unbound. I'll probably buy some of that soon. Let me throw that out. No Unbound early game. Does not get a kill, unfortunately. Okay. Huge Fernando Wolf going to keep us in the game. Let me focus back on healing up these guys. Rejuve is definitely imperative for my team. High, high, high healing output healer. Get more healing from it. No brainer, really. Throw those potions in there. Nyx is one. There we go. Finish you off. Damba's just stopped healing there. We're going to get a few kills. Damba didn't die, did he? Where is Damba? I have completely lost Damba. Oh, Fernando sniped him with the fireball? Wait, he did die. Oh! Well, that would do it. Nah, that's unlucky, I guess. All right, you're gone. But Yagroth is going to have support for her Damba. Ooh, luckily that fear didn't hit me. All right, let me throw this out. Massive stun. Massive ult. Get at least one kill with that. That's huge. Once the enemies max out Unbound, my team is going to have to be on it when I ult. So... Yeah, we're just going to have to, like, focus one target, right? Ooh, I'm trying to do damage there. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, very sad. She does die for it, though, surprisingly. Wait, Damba's dead again. Khan, you got to go jump off the map. Yeah, he's going for it. Wow, accidental snipes from the team here. Jeez. You can Resist me. I suppose the downside of this map is that it is very easy to hit the healer accidentally because, you know, I'm right here. <laughs> and their Damba's right there, and we're both really close. Just don't do it again. Try and try and help it, right? Try, try not to do it. Uh, okay, Sun's going out here. I'm going to Sun as well. Lots of CCs coming out here. Fernando Wolf's going to keep us in the game here. Just going to make sure we're living that. I need more as quickly as possible, though. Uh-oh. Uh, Alright. Sadly, that doesn't succeed. Lost Rom again. We keep throwing potions down here. Slow potions. The whole works. I like how Anara tried to wall me off there. That didn't really work. I just walked into the field like an idiot, though. Let me throw this out. Oh, man. I'm failing to save people right now. That's my bad. You can't resist Ooh, me. don't stun me. Maybe I'll try playing from back here. Oh, there's a wall there now. Okay. Nara's just trying to stop me. That's really the only weakness of Pip in a sumo, besides aim, is, uh... Yeah, barriers will really stop him in his tracks. Right? I think Fernando gets that kill. Let me throw potions in. I need to go back to spawn and buy items, dude. <laughs> Can I legally ult their healer and then jump off the edge, killing us both? No, you can't. You can't CC the healer onto the point or in a situation where you'll kill them like that. That is specifically written in the super rules. It's like you wouldn't be able to ult the healer onto point either and then be able to kill them. That's not how that works. Oh boy. This Yag ult has been completely successful this match. I don't think she's failed once yet. Ooh, I'm gonna get stunned there. Okay. Ah. Let me pop back up here. 
We are still winning on capture progress, but we're kind of... I feel still really struggling right now to make things work. Oh boy. I'd right, have another ult. Um, oh man. Let's try this. Good. Oh, I got hit by that sun. Okay, potion. Now let me throw this out. Oh, that was Stomp! That was... That was Stomp! <laughs> no! I have to jump off the map now! Okay, neither team has a healer. <laughs> I flicked back towards the Nyx and killed my Crap. Ah! Wow. Why was Stompa so low? Oh, that's that sucks. At least I can buy items now. Let's do that. And let's max out on Bound. And that's all I have items for now. Bruh. <laughs> oh, that poor Domba. I'm so sorry. That's... <laughs> that's kind of funny. You have to admit. But man, that's such a shame for Domba. Oh, and we don't get to save Fernando either. Alright. Um, well... Fernando stuff happening. I'm just gonna keep spamming. Whoa. Okay, potions out. Heal you. Need to get heals to Terminus. There's a potion. All right, throw this out. I'm scarily low. Let me reposition over here. I don't know why they're shooting at me like that. There's a potion. Damage. Yes. All right. Let me just keep throwing stuff in here. That position is kind of bad for actually hitting shots, though, on the low ground. So let me pop up here. Damba said again. Khan, stop it. Khan, off the map. What are you doing? How did you even kill Damba? I didn't even see. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, I guess we finally cap here, killing Damba four times unintentionally. <laughs> That's just mean. Khan, how did you do that? It's not my fault. How, how did it happen, Khan? I ulted, then someone shot him, so he died when I threw him? What? Oh, did you throw him at Maldamba, and then Maldamba took damage from the ult? Oh, man. Is that how it went down, Damba? If he is targeting- if he's lying to you right now, if he's actually targeting you, like, maliciously, well, let me know. Speak up. Okay, let me just throw this in the mix. Ooh, and R just gonna get my way and take all that damage that was aimed at Nyx. Yags won, though, and she dies. Huge. Oh, boy. Lots of stuns. Pop some heals back to you. There we go. Oh, that unbound feels just so good now. Don't even really have to worry about stuns. That's great. I thought Khan could ult Zomba as long as it didn't kill him. He can. But if he kills him, then it's a problem. But yeah, a popular strategy in Sumos is to just pick up the healer. But you should only do that if they're at full health, and then walk away and don't throw them off the map, just throw them, like, away from the team, right? But if you pick them up when they're at half health, like, what are you doing? Yeah, you're gonna kill them. Stop it. Ah, there's that. Ooh, nice. Alright, the fear's gone. I'm gonna throw this in there. Uh, nothing happened with that, though. I'm just kind of doing damage to Yagaroth, really. Ah. She's so low. Does she finally die? She's actually getting lifted above the gourd by the wall. That's a smart idea. Nice, and she dies. Alright, let's push up. <laughs> I'm technically killable right now on the point. I should maybe... I have an idea. I'm going to go up here. There we go. Oh, I can't stand on that. Okay. Well, I'll just you play back here. Resist me. So that way, I can... Yeah. Heal the team while not being on the point. Let me go up here. There we go. My pit perch. Lovely. Terminus is just on the wall. Swinging away. Oop! He didn't even get feared off the wall. Nice. I'm just playing damage pip at this point. They're barely taking damage. I just throw the potions and that's all I need. She's one. She's one! Sniped. Yes. Uh, ooh, come on, swordsman. There you go. I throw that in now. Ooh, nice! We get a kill off that. Huge. Problem is, in our Nyx, the dynamic duo are just so hard to kill. Because they have so much survivability. They stand in that gourd, they get that increased healing. They have all the damage reduction as well. It's insane. 
Nice. Nice ult. All right, pressure that Nyx. There we go. She's dead. Slow but sure progress here. That is not going to succeed. All right, let me throw this down. Oh, he's one, but he went behind the wall. Okay. Mm. Oh, no! You can't resist me! Oh my god. That that that's actually so unfortunate. He accidentally hit Damba with the ult. Oh man. Okay, at this point, Damba, I think it might be a positioning issue. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, if you're dying to Rommel, like I can't even blame Rom for that. That's just collateral. Try and like Damba, try and get on top of that. Top, on top of that rock. Right there. I think you can do it with a wall jump from like right there. Just go up there. Out of the way. Don't get hit by the Rommel. <laughs> no, this is targeting? Bro, that Rommel did not target you. I saw it happen. He was just aiming at the crowd. That's not even his fault. Yeah, at least I'm going to have to be positioning. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. You're up here. Yeah, see, that's good. Stay up here. Don't get shot. Easy. There you go. <laughs> Let me just throw that in. Uh, man, we just can't get the kills, though. Oh, man, she gets that kill. We're nine minutes out. We're halfway towards being able to legally kill healers. And at that point, oh, man, I'm... I fear for Damba's health and safety, honestly. Um... And yeah, this really does seem like one of those proper stalemate sumos, you know? This is going nowhere. Keep throwing ults in. Just gets healed right, right back up. Oh, man. I'll save you. The thing with Yag ults is if we can burst her when she fails, that's a kill. The time for an ult to make sure that doesn't happen, though. That's really bad for us. Now, Rommel doesn't hit you when you're up there, right, Damba? I don't think it hit you there, but I didn't see it because you went out of my line of sight. Alright, now's our chance. Burst, 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 burst. Focus, focus fire. Focus fire. Oh, we're fighting against the current. Ah, oh, man. We just don't have enough DPS. Ah. Maybe I should have played Mega Potion. <laughs> I'm basically only healing with My potions anyway. damage build with Maelstrom. Prioritize okay. life rip, morale boost, chrono for higher DR uptime, and then trigger sense smile with horns smile with horns. <laughs> I can try that. I can try that out. <laughs> yeah, I really am just mostly focusing the enemies with my primary shots. Combat medic is kind of hitting as collateral. Now with mega potion, the potions would be double as effective. So maybe that is what I should be doing here. Maybe I made a mistake with my choice of talent. Because, yeah, that extra DPS would be really nice. Uh, that's just not going to be saved. Oh, bad timing on my ult. Ooh. Oh, I can't get up there. Hold on. Uh, uh, there we go. Got it. Uh, oof. Very risky positioning. I'm going to move to this one. Because I'm too close to the objective on the tree stump. I might accidentally be confessing. See, like, look at Damba's position right now. He's so close to the objective. If he didn't throw that Gordon to heal himself back up, he was clearly able to be hit by collateral there. You gotta play more carefully. Gotta strategize about that. <laughs> it is possible for accidental deaths to happen. Yeah, see, like, up there. That's much better. Okay, Khan, you you gotta chill. Do not accidentally kill the Maldamba. Please, sir. <laughs> Damba also can't heal out of combat, because the... The Gord does damage, so he's never going to let meditation or you know regular out of combat uh, healing proc. He's got bloodbath now. That's interesting. That'll heal him back up when an elimination eventually happens. Usually there are so few eliminations though. I don't know if it's worth it, but yeah, like see, he hasn't even healed from it once. He's just constantly up there with like a third HP. Right, let me throw that in. Chaos. Nice. Oh, huge pick on Nara. He's still so low. I wish I could you heal him. <laughs> Can I throw a potion at Maldamba and heal him? Is that how that works? Please? Okay, heal myself. There we go. Heal myself. 
Yeah, just heal yourself, man. Please. Oh, she's one. Gotcha. Okay, do not shoot at the Maldamba. Kill Nyx, though. Nice. Every time Khan does that, just picks him up and throws him. That is a nice lull in the fight. Here, Maldamba. I let Fernando die, just for the joke. Oh my gosh. Ah. The sad thing is, it's not even really that worth it for him to invest in something like Life Rip, because he doesn't exactly do a lot of damage. Oh, I lived that. Okay. Um... Ah, uh, that's just bad. All right, let me throw this out. Ooh, just a little bit late on that kill, but we get Fernando at least. Could have had two, though. Alright, Fernando up coming out here. Let's keep on healing. Stay alive, guys. Damba's still just half health back there, man. Ah. I'm more worried about Maldamba's health and safety right now than I am my own thing. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, the fear is just enough interruption that we don't have DPS on that Yag. Oh, and Khan's dead as well. Yikes. Okay. Uh, let me try this. Nice and grouped up. Rommelt comes up, but it's not enough to get the kill. Dang. Okay. Ooh, Questionator, please! Woo! Combat Medic heals, save the day. Alright, let me blast back to you briefly. You Terminus is just taking all the damage here, man. Jeez. Ugh. Right, back up here. Man, we just don't have the damage for that. Jeez. Okay, let me wait out the ults, and now let's throw that in the mix. No damage. Jeez. I think my shots were colliding with my teammates and not doing damage to the people I was targeting, man. Yep, this is the classic Sumo's experience. Last match felt a little too good to be true, with the uh, nice quick score. <laughs> we were done with the match at this point. We're not even 2-0 and right now, this match. 17 minutes in. We have two and a half minutes left before the healer is legally allowed to be killed. So just bear that in mind. Soon, it'll be okay to target Tom, but it'll also be okay to target me, and I'm scared of that. I wonder who's even going to target me. I don't know who is going to be the biggest threat on their team. I don't know who's going to play aggressive. I think Nyx might be my main concern, because she's been, like, pulling me off the statue and getting me in danger. I don't see anyone else playing super aggressive right now. It certainly won't be Nara, right? <laughs> I don't know. It is Jiki, so maybe... Gonna have to think about survival options, though. Definitely want Chronos for more potions. Mainly, you actually, for self-sustain, right? Ah, oh, there it is again. Pull that in. Whoa, flying chicken. Yeah, also more weightlessness will help me out. Just stay away from the enemies. Luckily, they don't have, like, a hard ult that can kill me, apart from Yagult, which I guess is another thing to worry about. But, uh, yeah. Like, we have Con ult. And Khan's already been targeting Maldama pretty aggressively. So, when the 20-minute mark arrives, it's probably going to be his main job to just focus Damba. Oop, don't shoot Damba, but yeah, throw him away. <laughs> Punted. Oh, he barely went anyway. He's back. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's throw a potion there. Oh, that's unlucky timing. Okay. We're so close. We are slowly making progress. We just need a break point to happen. I won't even have to change his play style. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Instead of throwing Maldamba away, just throw him off the map. Brilliant. And also, even if Maldamba buys unbound, that's only going to change the time he has to throw, but I'm pretty sure Sentinel is what affects the slow for the knockback, I mean, right? But then at that point, we still have stuns. And at that point, right, if he buys Sentinel instead of Unbound, then all Khan has to do is grab him and hold him up in the air for five seconds, and heck, I'll kill Maldamba. So, either way, it's kind of a lose-lose unless you buy both, but then you have to buy both items. And he can't even do that at this stage in the game, so that's going to be really rough for him. And also, either way, if he buys one of those, then he can't buy armor plating. So... 
big decisions here from Aldamba. And it's the 20-minute mark, which means I can be killed. And I'm dead. <laughs> and both Fernandos just instantly get the kill. I wasn't paying enough attention. I didn't get the potion on myself in time. So, I'm back to spawn. Let's get Kronos. And let's just immediately head out before I decide on my final item. I gotta get back there ASAP. There, Maldamba's gonna be at the fight before me. Yes, Fernando, will bide some time. Bide some time. I'm coming in here. Alright. Boom. Heals. Alright. Let me pop up here. Potions. Ooh, try and save Khan if we can. Oh, wow. Inara's coming after me. Okay. I didn't have a potion for myself. They're doing a good job of focusing me. I need my team to protect me. I need my team to stop them from going into the back and bullying me, right? Maybe Morale Boost should be the final item just to incapacitate them. But they do all have Unbound, so maybe not. Oh, Maldama's just gone for Veteran. Hmm. Interesting choice. Armor Plating might have been the better call, considering we don't have a lot of ability damage right now, right? Alright, guys, I need you to get this Fernando off me. Yeah, good job, Swordsman. You are not right. welcome here. I need to change my... Wait, we see nines? How do we see nines? Okay. But yeah, I need to change my strategy with my potions. I need to use them for myself. I shouldn't be so quick to throw them into my team. Okay, and let's do... Uh, what should my final item be? I have so much deliberation. Okay, they are mostly weapon damage. Ability damage would be like Fireball, Nyx Poison... Although I don't think I need to worry about Capture the poison. In 15 Dom is mainly weapon damage. It's not like he's going to be going after me anyways. Armor plating might be the call here. Just to bide more time. Five, so I think that's what four, I'll do. Three, two, Hopefully that works out one. for me. Let's see. But yeah, we need to focus down Maldamba. And I can actually focus him with my ultimate, because he doesn't have Unbound. So... I could be the one playing aggressive here. Wouldn't that be funny? All right, it's time to move. I got the reload proc. That ult's just gonna fail. All right, let me do that. Oh, I just don't have enough time. All right. Our team is still playing very aggressive though, but I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna have another potion. Throw that down, that'll give me a little bit of sustain. This is another reason why I should play Mega Potion. I actually just straight up picked the wrong talent, didn't I? Imagine if I could heal for 2k every potion, I'd be unkillable. Jeez. Right, there's that. Gonna risk the potion. Both teams feel pretty even on the ultimate for uh, the capture progress. I'm gonna pop in here and kill Maldamba because I can. It's 22 minutes now. Uh, and I've got Mal uh, I've got Fernando on me. All right, potion. Let's run away. Just gonna blitz past point here. Try and keep Fernando on his toes. There's another potion. Ooh, good you stun from Khan. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Extra damage. Oh, Khan, I needed you to shoot him. We could have got that kill there, man. Uh, he should still die, though. Yes, good. Out of position, and we are dominating right now. That's why we have the 20-minute rule. So that way we can break up these stalemates, make this game go faster. All right, Yagroth's just back there. She did get overtime touch. I'm gonna make sure we're healing these guys. I'm gonna save my second potion, though. Um, I'm not getting targeted yet. All right, I'll throw that there, because I have reload proc. Uh, I think she's going to ult me, so let me get out of here while I still can. Oh, I don't have another reload proc. Uh, they do take me out there. Okay. Team's going to have to be careful here. We do have Tam Terminus ult Fernando ult stall. Might just be better to do a hard reset, though. Ah, Terminus has no. He's just going for it anyways. Okay. Well, let me snipe that potion above the wall. Snipe that one above the wall, pep in the set for you. And now let me back away, because I don't have the potion yet. Yeah, Rom just died contesting points. Let me do this. Got reload. Alright, I have my ultimate. What I need to do, probably, is assault Maldamba with the ultimate, so... Oh, that rollout failed. Hold on. Hold on. Pull back. Okay. Change of plans. No rollout. No Maldamba killing. I got stuck on the tree like a dummy. Alright, there's some heals into you. Let me pop around. Ooh, they almost won the game right there, didn't they? Jeez. I'm having to bounce around with this Fernando right now. Jeez. He's all over me. Alright, I'm healing from their backline. <laughs> the safest place for me to be is in the enemy team's backline. Hooray! 
Alright, just jump away, throw the slow out. Throw some more of those out. Alright, I got this. Mm, oh, I'm probably dead. A potion. Uh, the wrong heal. I'm running away. Throwing the ults out. Reposition. Oh, I'm gonna get stunned here. Oh, the Fernando ult. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Get me the heck out of here. Oh, no. Okay, this is fine. Potion. I have a second potion. Alright, use it now. Run the heck away. This gets so intense. <laughs> Alright. We're fine for now. Fernando can't get up here yet. Yag ult fails. Nyx is dead. Fernando's trying to go after Damba. We'll see how successful he is. At least the uh, tanks don't have healing on point. And Maldamba's dead. Great. I still have ult to defend myself. It's gonna try and play low key right now. Fernando's dead. He's the one who's mainly been going after me. This is great. Dude, the timing. Really? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Lots of suns going up, but you're dead. Blast an R. There we go. She's dead. Nyx is alone on point. Okay, she should die. And that's our cap. Let's go. This gets a lot more intense, doesn't it? Jeez. Alright. Stay alive. You just throw that out. And let me try and blast past and hit that Damba for a sec. There's a potion. Uh, yeet. There we go. What a mess. Yeah, this game is pretty messy. Very exciting, though. It gets very exciting at the 20 minute mark, I will say. Ooh. Nando's on me. Nice. Yes, beat him back. Potion on me. Oh, hello. Okay, this is fine. Potion. Just ulting. Okay. Okay, bro. Cool story. <laughs> now go away. They're so low up there. Nice. I'm just gonna play aggressive. Let's try and kill Nyx here. Ooh, she's ulting. She's pretty low, though. Nice. Oh, you failed the ult. Alright. I'm gonna chase that. We got Maldamba here. Turn him into a chicken. Boom, there's the kill. <laughs> Support aside here. Ugh, potion. No, oh, the fireball. Well played. Yeah, that extra scorch damage came in clutch there. Uh, we might still be able to do this. Fernando's dead. Rom's getting kills here. Nyx is dead. Nice. It's just Damba and Yag right now. Damba's bringing out the fear. Not that it'll mean much. If we can keep the pressure on right now, we got this. Ooh, focus Yag. Nice. We just keep doing damage in here. Alright, I got Fernando back. Khan's looking at him. Thank you. Thank you very much, Khan. Doing a great job. Oop. Alright, throwing him further out of position. Let's throw a quick potion over there, just because. Yeah, let me hunt my oppressor real quick. There we go. Good job, swordsman. Throw those potions. Toss those potions! It's only healing Rom, actually. Crap. Thomas dead, though. Huge pick. Fernando, good job. There's one. There's two. There's three. Fernando's here. He's going after me, but he's got a hold point right now. He almost just C9'd. It is so close to being a 3-1 game in our favor. He's bringing out ult to stall. Fernando's going for the spawn camp on Maldamba right now, though. Fernando's going to die to my hands, and that is the push successful. Let's go. How long did the longest sumo go for? It was like 75 uh -huh. minutes or something crazy like that. Arleinmeyer donated $1. <laughs> if doing another sumo, some CORVUS19 oh gameplay with my sumo's build has a lot of ammo. Smile. Okay. I will do that, but keep in mind, we already have one more request, and that was the Maelstrom Lilith request. And sumo games last a very long time, so um, I don't recommend anybody to do too many more requests. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't do any more requests after that one. But I'll do that for you, Elmar. Thank you very much. Five, four, I also didn't want to monopolize three, healer gameplay today, but I guests, guess uh, if the request want me to, then I will. Okay. All right, let's go. Thanks. All we got to do is win this here. I, I have a cheeky idea. I have a very cheeky idea. Never mind, they're all over here. 
I was gonna go attack Maldamba. Change of plans. Mm. Maldamba is over there. He's got Yagaroth bodyguard, though. Alright, I'm just gonna turn you into chicken. Oh, if I didn't miss that shot, I actually would've got the kill. That's my fault that time. Sorry, Swordsman. Um, you can't snipe the potion. Me. There's some damage. Let me help out with Swordsman now. Aw, oh, huge. Sadly, that Unbound means he gets thrown early, but the stun's gonna stop that shield. Good stuff. Get that kill. Alright. I will help kill Nyx there. Uh, I think we just burn Inara here. Actually, no, she's got a gourd, so let me kill the support again, because I'm Pip, and that's what I can do. Oh, the ult failed. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, I'm out of position right now. Let me just potion tank it, and then waitless. Ooh, get sniped. Look at that shot. Let's go. Alright, there goes Fernando. There goes Inara. Burn! No! Okay. <laughs> Delayed death. You can't resist Greatly me. delayed death. Please just die. There we go. Good. All right, let me heal Fernando up. So the potion back that way. There we go. Use those angles. Get the slow. I'm shooting the wrong Fernando right now. Okay, there you go. Nice battle shout as well. Huge value from that in the those. Can't save Rom. But Inara's just going to die trying to touch points. We get potions to you. Go to ult. Just stay alive. Ooh, hello. Alright, back around we go. Alright, Slither's down. Damba's very focusable by somebody. Not me. I think I totally just missed that. What am I doing? Aim just decided not to work there for a sec. I'm gonna die for that. Let's go. Um, we're at 99, though. I mean, this is really good. We can just bide time for me to get back. We have good ults here. Con ult. Oh, Con's dead, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to end die. quite yet. Not yet my friend. You got to just stay alive right now. They're really not taking that much damage. Let me throw that out. Ooh. I'm just dead. Is every Leon skill affected by caught? Yeah, every Leon skill is a weapon shot. So it is affected by armor plating. It applies cauterized. It applies life rip. It applies racker. The whole shebang. The only ability that isn't a weapon shot is her ultimate. So, yeah, but everything else is. You can't resist Ooh, me. boy. Oh, the potion got stuck on the tree. Crap. That stupid hitbox. We only lost one. I think we're still okay for now, though. Fernando's really low trying to push me right now. Just gonna throw damage down there. He is really low. He is really, really low. I just wish someone would focus him. I can't exactly do that. And he's full health now. Okay. Uh, let me do this just to heal myself. I have the reload proc. I'm getting chased now, so let's run away. Potion. Ah! ah! Stop it. No, it's my fault again. My shot just completely whiffed. I'm actually kind of throwing. Low key. There's a potion. Back up here. Um. But Nyx is on the point. Okay. <laughs> well, we win. <laughs> GG's. That was a very silly game. That was a lot more fun past the 20 minute mark, even though it was a lot more stressful. I actually got top kills that match. 23 kills is pip, 446,000 damage, 889,000 healing, 1.3 million healing out of Maldamba. And a pretty smooth 335,000 damage as well, although he also got zero kills. He died 12 times, which um, actually... If we discount, what was it, five times that he died before the 20-minute mark due to accidents, we actually died the same amount of times past the 20-minute mark, so pretty reasonable pressure from both teams. Um, I'm surprised to see him not even get a single kill, though. That's kind of crazy. Would I have done even better with Mega Potion? Maybe. Maybe not. It's an interesting thought, though. It'd be nice to try it out. Or for someone to try it out, anyways. Accidents constantly in the backline at half HP, sure. Well, you weren't healing yourself back up. And don't say you weren't, because I saw you for, like, three minutes straight, just at, like, low HP not healing yourself. And, okay, yeah, Khan targeted you a bit too aggressively, I think we can agree. But, like, I accidentally killed you. Genuinely. You were standing directly next to the Nyx, who I turned into a chicken, and who I was shooting at because she was a chicken. And then you died. 
I don't know why you were one shot, <laughs> but you were one shot to me. And the Rommelt, he can't control that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just it, it it's it's unfortunate. Yeah, you just you do have to be careful of your positioning. All supports have to be careful because accidents do happen. I, I think that's generally yeah a, a good rule of thumb. All right, next uh, we have to play. Damage Lilith. I have to actually steal Stealthy's build for this, so let me do that real quick. Yeah. Maelstrom Lilith in the sumo. Stealthy 8. Wabam. And... Okay, which build is this? Sumo's damage build is what it says. Okay, this one. So we have... Just level 1 Wings of Terror or Sheer Ascent. We have Tainted Form for max health, we have Unholy Flight for damage reduction, and Blood Cannon, so just max tankiness. And then the items are Life Rip, <laughs> Morale Boost, Chronos for higher DR uptime, right, and also more swarms, and then Trigger Scent. Okay, gotcha. So I will try that out then. I am the healer on my team. Bear that in mind. Uh, and let's go to... I'd say let's do Jaguar Falls now. Passwords can be 1, 2, 3, crossplay on. Make sure anti-healing is disabled. Still doing sumos. So, yeah. Let's go. 500 heal per shot on a marked enemy with life rip 3 plus swarm and hex heal. Wow, that's interesting. That's really cool. Okay, yo, it's Kana in sumos. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually going to keep Kana on my team. Reason being, I'm terrible at Lilith. And I'm not going to play this nearly as well as Stealthy. So, <laughs> I don't want to have to play that against Kana. I'm sorry. I'm not turning on hard mode for myself. Okay, leave me alone. Uh, to compensate, I'll stack the enemy team with two 999s and also put Mark all over there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do that. Kana's basically level 999 anyways. Well passed. So, yeah. Here we go. Gaming. <clears throat> What time can we shoot support? It's 20 minutes, Kana. Uh, you can also shoot the support if they go to point, but you can't crowd control them onto the point to then kill them, because that would just be mean, right? So yeah. All right, I am Lilith. Where is Lilith? There is Lilith, Someone yes. And we get to use this excellent me. skin. I do really like this skin. This is probably one of my favorite skins of the last year. I would play it more if I just played Lilith more. Like, the only unfortunate thing about this skin is that it's a Lilith skin for me, just because I don't play the character. But if I played the character more, this would, wanna, this would be one of my most used skins. It's very nice. I just really like the color scheme, the theme. I like the effects as well. Like the uh, little, like, hex thing that appears. Or like the hieroglyphs, right? When you deploy the swarm, I think that's cute. The first time you were shooting me, I shot at you to make you back away, and you didn't. And I accidentally killed you, that's my fault. Um, the second, uh, time I just ulted you to hold you and then threw you away, but someone else from my team hit you so I couldn't prevent your death when I threw you. Hmm. Well, why would you... Swordsman. The first time is kind of inexcusable. You don't shoot at the support. Like, that's just asking to accidentally kill the support. You, you don't shoot at them. You crowd control them. You don't shoot them. Not like that. I like the booba. Yeah, see, that's... <laughs> I wasn't going to say that part of Seku, but you can say it for me. Alright, so here we go. Maelstrom of Carnage. Because Stealthy wants me to try this out. So what should I buy first? I guess I should buy Life Rip and Morale Boost first then, right? Get my ultimate up as quickly as possible. That's going to be massive sustain. Basically just going to heal myself. So my teammates, if they want healing... Group up around Khan, group up around me, just find me, okay? Don't let the abyss take this land. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Stealthy made it work very well, but I am not stealthy. I am not a Lilith man, not even, not even remotely, so. <laughs> and this is also Sumo's, so I don't think you would normally buy Life Rip anyways in a real, real match. This is just all sorts of out of my comfort zone right now. We'll try it out. We must protect Here we go. Alright, I guess I will put a hex on you, and then go in. Yes! Damage Lilith! Well, bam Okay, maybe, maybe I'll heal the team. There. 
I'm just asking for all this collateral damage right now <laughs> with this aggressive positioning. Okay, let me get a swarm up. And let me just... Oh, my entire team is dying. See what I mean? With stealthy, we just blew them over. But I am not stealthy. Okay, take that. And I have my ultimate. Alright, let's go in. What the heck? Why not? Now, Stealthy, do you full charge the swarm, or do you just tap charge it? Because I usually full charge the swarm when I normally play Leoth, but I don't know if you're supposed to do that with Maelstrom, so... <laughs> this ain't working, Chief, yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should be full charging this, so I'll do that. Let me get the Hex out. Do some healing. Sorry, Ash. Ooh, lots of damage there. Whee! I have another ult. I guess I'll use it. Oh man, I must be getting over 100% lifesteal with the ultimate. With the Hex card, plus life rip 3, plus the ultimate life rip? I mean, is there diminishing returns on true lifesteal? I don't actually know. Oh boy, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Let me Hex you. Yeah, this is not working. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, Alright, where's Stealthy? I need her to tell me if I should tap charge to the swarms or not. She suggested this gameplay, after all. Ah! Alright, let me jump up here. Heal you. There you go. Ah! Alright, I have another ult. I guess let's pop it. Move Hex. Full charge swarm. Do damage. I'm not gonna kill you, there's no way. Let me try and focus on Ruckus then. Ah. Oh, and I just hexed the wrong person too. Okay. Pop that. Pop that. Grenade Walt coming out here. Okay. Hello, Weirot. You like damage. You like damage. Do you enjoy the sweet release of death? I hope you do. Ooh, and he's off the map. Nice. Alright, let me do that. Oh, I stole the kill. I'm so sorry, Ash. There's the double. Aw, oh, rip. Let me just target you, then. Move the Hex again. Let me get a full charge swarm. Beefy damage. I'm certainly getting a lot of self-healing right now. That's for sure. I don't know how to guide you. Tell this man how to play Lilith. <laughs> Stealthy, my simple question is, do I full charge the swarms, or do I tap charge the swarms? Which one is more efficient for the playstyle? Oh, nice! I saw that kill again. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Good job. <laughs> Good stuff. I hear a horsey. Someone's in here. Hello. Hi, how are you? Do you like damage? Come back here. Let me do damage. I should not be doing that. That is way too aggressive. Thank you, Fernando. I'm playing way too aggro. Okay, they're not behind us, thankfully. Let me get a swarm here. Well, bam. At least level two. Okay. So kind of middle charge? Better than level one doesn't take long. Okay. I'll do that then. Well, bam. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, let me pop this. Oh, boy. Well, that's a huge Fernando ult, at least. Let me keep charging these up. Uh, there's that. I'm just on the point right now. I feel like this is a really silly idea. If I stay closer to the team like this, though, I feel like I am doing still pretty good. Like, I can still do damage without playing so blindingly aggressive. They're still kind of dying, though. I just misplaced that hex. I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Never mind. Thank you, Connor. Alright. Uh, ultimate time! Alright. Save. Let's get the swarm out. Oh, man! I was on the point, so that's fair. That's fair. Uh. It's over. <laughs> I am not. I am not cut out to play this playstyle. <laughs> Ah, okay, let me max out morale boost, and I guess max out life rip, and then the next item after that will be Coronos for higher DR uptime. And honestly, just more swarms. 
Oof, this is not working. What am I doing wrong, Stealthy? How would you change what I'm doing right now to maybe turn this game around? Because clearly something's going horribly wrong. I don't like the playstyle of the sound in general. In a real match, as the damage support when you have a second support on your team, it can work better. I think my problem is I'm trying to solo heal this team with it. You know? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just try and win this a bit better. I think I'll play more grouped up and carefully. Last point, I kind of just held W. So let me get the swarm up. We're on the right over here. Hello. Okay, too much damage. Backing up. Uh, okay. Put this out. I did not mean to hex you. I don't know why I pressed the button. I just tried to hex the person who already had a hex. All right, there's an ult. Pop this. Go to town. All the damage. All the damage. All the damage. Have another swarm. Even more damage. <laughs> Jump over the ROM ults. Let me pop this. ROM just does not want to die. Okay, Ruckus was kind of too far away for me to do anything. Pop this. Did I just hex Grok? How does that even happen? Okay, move the hex back. I'm gonna have a metric crap ton of damage in this match, but I still feel like I'm barely able to kill him. Man. Oh, I just hexed Yag accidentally. Well, at least it helps stop the ultimate, right? Alright, there's that. Ash! I'm sorry. I failed. Oh, man. This is such a scary playstyle because of all the damage I take. Ugh. Like, I genuinely can't blame the enemies if they kill me. <laughs> uh. Okay, there's that. Uh, Hex. Try and stay alive here. Let me throw another swarm. Yag's really low. But I think she's just going to live this. Oh, boy. Okay, throwing this swarm out. Got Fernando Bolt. Hex goes to the wrong person again. Uh-oh. I'm trying. I'm trying. My swarm ran out. No. Oh, crap. I'm trying to contest the point. No meditation, bro. There's no way I can meditate this match. It's sumos. Okay, next on the agenda was Chrono, so I guess I'll do that. I'm not buying Trigger Scent, though. We're not killing anything. Oh, Ruckus. There you go. Here's a swarm. Try and stay alive. Okay. Keeping these guys alive right now. Let me try this. Oh, Grockle's coming out. Yeesh. Let me hex you. Just stay grouped with the team. Woo! Jump over that. Pop this. Okay, nice kill. I don't know why they're not pushing. Oh, I guess Ash was just on the point. <laughs> they're just emoting. Oh, okay. Sorry to break up the party, but I'm Lilith. I got damage to do. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, pop this. Do not shoot the Grok. Stop it, Andrew. Bad. Pop this. Pop that. I can't even tell what's going on right now. Oh man, the Twitch bit rate must be so bad, dude. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Impossible to decipher. Mm, damage. Let me run over here, Kana. We need to heal. There's that. Let's move the hex to the wrong person again. At least we can save. There's that. Oh, I got stunned. Pop ults, run away. We're okay for now. Okay. Oh man, the hex just keeps going all over the place. The wrong people all the time. That's the most annoying thing. Okay. Take that. I'm running back over here. 
It's not 20 minutes yet. Pause. Oh, I couldn't even heal Ruckus because I didn't have blood health. All right, there we go. Full health. Run away. Group up. Can't even see your eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta love sumos for that. Quite the spectacle. <laughs> I just have a bunch of colors on my screen. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Everything is just a blur of red and orange and green and blue. Brilliant. Okay, I'm just letting the team die. Let me at least make sure Fernando stays alive here. Keep using swarms. Keep pressing hex. Pop ult. Give you that uncauterized life steal. Yes, attack. Exactly. Oh boy. I have no idea what's happening right now. They're getting just so much free push right now, though. Holy crap. Oh, he's just dead. I gotta contest the objective! I'm healing myself! Oh no! It's over. It's over. It's GG. I am not cut out to play this play style. It is far too risky to play it in sumo if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know how stealthy got this to work. I don't know how we're still contesting either. Let me hex you. I know Ash is just gonna die, so let me just swarm. Rock has just got bulldozed. He keeps spamming swarms, keep throwing hexes out. Take advantage of my ultimate while I can. Hex you. Oh boy, I was riding somebody there. Ugh. Okay. I guess this is still happening somehow. I'm alive! I don't know how. Put that down. Damage Yakaroth. There we go. There's another swarm. Building a lot of ultimate charge right now, but we just lost Ruckus. There's another Hex. Gotta jump around for the DR, but I'm dead. Fernando's gonna die. Now it's actually over. There's no way. Unless Ash builds up her ult and ults. No, that's not happening. Alright. Ah, pain. <laughs> pain, 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 pain. Well, that sucks. Um, And yeah, we are going to go back to back very goofy builds because up next we have to play Erlenmeyer's Damage Corvus build in Sumos. I actually got top healing that match. That's surprising, considering my teammates were dying way more often. I guess when they were near me, the healing numbers were intense, but I was just not able to consistently give them that healing to keep them alive. And yeah, I did a lot of damage, but I wasn't too far above someone like Fernando or Grok. We just got steamrolled, man. Okay, let's uh, let's grab Erlenmeyer's Corvus build now. Erlen Meyer. Okay. So here's the Sigma build. We have Shadow Tribunal for healing. Grand design for a tiny bit of lifesteal. Abyssally Fluxion for damage reduction. And then By My Will for max ammo count. And then Condemnation for a little bit of increased healing. Interesting. So the extra ammo is for us to build up more damage and build up ultimate faster. I see. And let's test this out. I want to put this on a map where they're going to be forced to be grouped up. I have an idea. Let's do Bright Marsh. <laughs> Put them all in the tiny little room and force them to stay near it. There we go. Crossplay on. Anti-healing disabled. And let's do same password of 123. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, make sure in North America, make sure Crossplay is on and join the match. I don't think Corvus will be good at Sumo. He's not a good healer in Sumos, but... He is a very good damage dealer in sumos when they're all grouped up on the point, right? That's the thing. So, yeah. Like, <clears throat> his ultimate does percent base damage. And his ultimate can be used to generate ultimate charge. So basically, you throw an ultimate on point, and then that'll give you another ultimate that you throw on point, and then it's just a never-ending cycle of ultimates. If it healed too, then all of a sudden Corvus would go right back around to being a good healer in Sumos too. But it's just a damage tool. My teammates are going to have to be careful. We should have Rom. We should have Rom for the extra healing. 
because I'm not going to be reliable. So subservience would be good. Um, but yeah, we're just going to see how much damage we can do. And so the enemies will have to choose. Do I want to stay grouped up on point, especially if I have a Grok who's putting totems on point? All that stuff, right? Or do I stay spread out on the point, potentially not contesting as well, but at least avoiding the Corvus damage? Who knows? Yeah, we got Khan and Romps. We got the double healing tanks. So that's excellent. I will save um, no, no Yagroth this time. That's actually the first match there where there is none. Enemies have Grover as their support. Haven't seen him yet today. And we've also got Fernando, Nyx, Terminus, and Makoa on the enemy team. Now, I always say Makoa is a pretty, like, low tier pick in Sumos, I would say, because he's low DPS and very easy to kill. They stomped last match, but to be fair, I think that was more because of me than because of Makoa. <laughs> so. <laughs> But maybe we will just know something I don't. Understand. I don't know. Someone must protect the realm. Here we go. Whatever the cost. So yeah, we're gonna play sp spreading influence, get double the marks, most healing as we can. Sumos, and then I'm just gonna throw the marks on random people. Tell you what, I'll throw the marks on the people who can't heal themselves. So I'll throw it on, yeah, Barrick and Nyx, and then Khan and Rom can heal themselves, and I'll just kind of heal like that. <laughs> And we need morale boost, and we need Chronos this game. And I think I'll do Chronos up first, just because. Cro Cro Corvus without Kronos just feels awful. Like, genuinely. So at least Cor Kronos 1 will help us out a little bit. But yeah, we'll go for Morale Boost as well. I wanted to say, like, Corvos or something like that there for some reason. <laughs> Kronvus. Cro Kronovus. I don't know. Mouth, uh, not working. <laughs> Tongue no work. Here we go. Let's try this out. And yeah, Erlenmeyer put extra ammo in this build. So we do more damage, get more ultimate charge, and also just increase our damage output in the match. I want to get my ultimate as quickly as possible, and then once we throw it down, if the enemies are grouped up, we should see the magic happen, right? Ideally. I don't want to shoot shields, though, because shields get in the way, and they really, really hurt, right? Really, really, really hurt. My ultimate charge. There's that. Hey, Mako's already dead. He's first blood. See, that's what I'm talking about. Very easy to kill. Oh, uh, come on, Nyx. Oh, Ron's dead. Okay, that sucks. Still gonna keep the marks on two people for now. Now there are only two people to keep marks on. I have my ultimate, but now we're dying. Okay, let me just throw it down right there. And just have him stand in it. You see, I already built 20% ultimate charge from my ultimate doing damage. But that wasn't a super good example, because they didn't actually stand in it that much. I need ult charge, Zeke. I'm sorry. You can heal yourself. You're Grover, okay? You'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, you just blast away Makoa. Headshots will build me even more ult charge. We're at 75% right now. We just keep healing. Teams should also buy Rejuvenate when they can, just to increase the healing they get from me. They really need it. That's just a free ult battery for me right there. We do this. Get that on point. Get the damage. Built up 15%, built up 22, 27, 28. Look at that, we're already back up to almost half of our ultimate. So quickly. That's pretty cool. I want all the enemies to just group up on point one time, just to see me get like 100% reset on the ult from the ultimate. <laughs> it's a really weird mechanic with Corvus ult, because normally ults don't do that. Normally you can't build ultimate charge while you're using your ult. But Corvus absolutely can. It just works. I don't know why. Alright, there's that. Huge damage. And we're up to 35%. Well, bam. Just like that. I have no self-healing in this build, though. I need to rely on my other tanks to heal me back up. From all this collateral damage I'm taking. These spirits do not yeah, we are really lacking on heals right now. That's the one very sad thing. Healing items will be good. Rejuve will be good. Especially because Rejuve from Romp as well, right? Gone. Alright, I have another ult. Just pop up and over and throw that right there. And that's going to be a huge amount of damage. Look at all that damage. That almost killed Terminus. We're still just getting a lot of free push right now, though. Yep, there's that Makoa ult. I'm just gonna farm him for ult charge. <laughs> They're both so low. Can we kill Terminus there? He's one. Oh, no, we can't. Fernando ult comes out. Jeez. Okay. There's another ult. Let me pop that right there. Mm, look at that burst damage. They just run away from it, though. 
crap. Let me TP back here. I'm up too far. I keep on healing. I just keep people dying left and right there, man. So sad. Don't want to hit that shield. Okay, there's another ult. Let me do one heal and then throw this down. Kind of misplaced, maybe a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to play on the high ground for now. Hmm. Those headshots are so satisfying. <laughs> I love playing against Makoa with a hit scan. Poor Makoa, though, is not going to feel the same way about it. Damage. Oh, he's so low. Kill him. Yes. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, no. Grover's dead. Rom, you... Wait. He was on point, wasn't he? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Let's just blast away at Terminus, and it looks like we pushed them off at the right time, and I don't think they're going to have touch. Yeah, Terminus isn't even ulting. We got it. Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Fernando. There we go, gotcha. Alright. I guess the battle's not over yet. Let me go back up to my perch. There we go. Alright, I'm throwing the ult down. Give me that damage. We can't let them push. Grover's taking a bit of tickle damage there. See a tiny little, like, 100 damage. So small. So insignificant. Even in Sumos, we're struggling to use Corpus Ult. I picked a good map for it. <laughs> ah. I also want to target Makoa right now because he's... Yeah, I'm not getting fall-off on him. If I get fall-off, I do less damage, which means less ult charge. Right, I'm not the damage. Alright, yeah. throwing that down. A lot of damage, but my teammates are dying left and right here. Okay, good kill on Fernando. A lot of damage there. Come on, guys. Luckily, when they have the marks on them, they are pretty much invincible. I mean, I do a lot of healing spam with the mark. Man, I so thought we had this defense. Actually, kind of annoying that we still have to try for it right now. Oh, man. Makoa should die, though, hopefully. Throw that down. Mm, one's dead. A lot of damage, though. Look at my ultimate charge right now. Holy crap, that's intense. 68, 78, 81. Wow, that was a lot of ult charge. All right, we're going to have another one here in just a second. Let me keep healing. There it is. <laughs> Throw it down. Huge damage. Fernando, well, he's just going to bathe in it. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. That's what I'm talking about right there. That crazy level of ult charge. Come on, guys. Just stay alive. Here's a heal. Please live. Despite that, we're still struggling to get kills even with the ult. There it is. Throw it down. Huge damage. Oh, man. It's like bringing a Tyra Firebomb to the fight. <laughs> mm. Okay, two good picks. Terminus uses ult, though, so he's back. Just keep blast blasting away at him. Come on, guys. Nice. Uh, is he off? No, he made it back. 1,300 burst on McCullough with the ult. Ooh, look at me farm him with that. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> My ultimate literally just did a sniper shot level of damage to Makoa. <laughs> nice. Okay. And another one's down. Right there in the middle. Huge damage. I could go and spawn by ultimate charge, but... I don't want to leave our team without healing for a moment, because I'm already, like... They're already kind of struggling with healing to begin with, but if I leave them alone, we're really going to be struggling, right? I throw this down. If we can get, like, a kill, then maybe I can go into spawn briefly. Maybe. There's one. Okay, let me... Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, back in the fight, back in the fight. We almost lost Barrack. Oh. That was risky. We're fine, though. Now I'm just going to be a lot more effective. Throw this right there. Now watch the ultimate charge go up. Nice. Just a little bit faster, through and through. This is still just taking so long. 
My goodness. There's the turtle. Drill into his head. You can't resist me. Ooh, there you go, Kana. I have another ult. Let me throw it down right there. Nice. Mmm. Damage. 69%, 77%. Holy crap. Alright, let me just shoot at Makoa and then we'll do that again. There we go. Throw it down. That's gonna be chunky. Oh, look at that. You can't resist me. Nice. Oop. And do it again. <laughs> yes. This is still such a stalemate. How did we get such a lull right at the end of the round and then they just barely managed to get overtime and now we spend like three minutes here just doing this. That's so unlucky. All right, keep throwing it down. Right there. Terminus is dead, that's good. Nice. Double kill from Kana. Focus the turtle. Or Fernando, either or. Huge stun goes out. Kill Fernando, kill Makoa. All right, we finally managed to defend. Huge plays from Kana with that double kill there to get the fight started. Okay, get Trigger sent too. Uh, if they're not dying though, it's not that helpful. What should I do next? I mean, low key, I'm kind of thinking about Deft Hands to pump out even more damage. I also have to worry about survivability though. I am a very squishy support once the 20 minutes comes around. So maybe my next two items should be based on survivability. Like, Life Rip would be good. I do very high DPS with Corvus. And also, like, Armor Plating could be good. Or do I need to worry about CC? I don't think I need to worry about CC. I think it should just be Armor Plating. And then maybe Life Rip. Five, four, yeah, let's three, do that. Alright, let's go. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, I forgot to put marks. Let me do that real quick. One on you, and one on you. I'll do it just like I did at the start of last round. Marks on the people who can't heal themselves. And with Chronos 3, I'm going to feel so much better now. You can't do this uh, okay, I have ult. Let me just lob it right there. Sadly, kind of died. And we're not really doing much with that Corvus ult there. Mm. Oop, you're out of position. Probably have ultimate, but I'm still going to drill into your head anyways. Okay, there's that. Throw this down. Oh, nice. Group them all up. That's huge damage. <laughs> Fernando bought Arcane Warding just for my ultimate. That's funny. Oop, and there's another one. Throw it down. Right on the Makoa ult. Yes. If only they didn't have Fernando ult. Oh, I got another one. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's why I wanted this spawn room selection right there. Look at that. We actually lagged a little bit throwing that down, but we can kill Terminus with that. Let me make sure I don't die. Awesome stuff, dude. You can't resist me. It is very satisfying to see it work when it works, you know? For sure. Ow, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Alright, let me pop this. Throw that down. There we go. Oh, huge headshots. Nice kill. Oh, uh, come on, Delta. There you go. Take those bursts. Take those bursts. And another one. I'm actually going to throw that back there to try and snipe Makoa. He's really low if someone can finish him. Nice. Just throw him away. Oh, uh, they got the Grove Rolt. He's so low! Oh, man. <laughs> My damage is intense. Okay. Use my ults right on the Makoa. So bam. Get that burst. You can't resist me. Come on, Fernando's low. Oh, we just lost two. That Nyx ult was huge. Crap. Ooh, we're kind of on the back foot here. Rum's trying to contest. Get another one of these down. Oh, he just got destroyed. Okay. Let's wait it out then. Nyx! Come on! Live! You got the battle shout, you'll be okay. Everything is fine. Got another one of these, I'll throw it back there. They have to retreat through it now. Hopefully. Yeah, I know. We got a cap. Put a mark back there on Barrack. Try and heal him. Got a TP up here. 
Okay, we're back to it. You can't resist me. Come on, guys. Oh, hi, Grover. <laughs> Hello. These Connells are so good. It's really lucky for us that they don't have a Con. <laughs> Honestly, Con is really, really meta in Sumos. Let me hide an ult right now for that. Ah! Come on! I'm just gonna pop this. Dodge all that. Throw damage down. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm gonna get another ultimate right here. There it is. Huge. Throw it down right there. All grouped up in it. Nice. Ah, this match really is such a stalemate, though. It's funny, we've had, like, a stomp, two really long matches, and then, like, a semi-reasonable match. Very weird how Zuma's tend to do that. You can't me. Was there an ult charge mod in this custom? No. Uh, if you aren't caught up, Corvus Ult builds ultimate charge off of itself, so in a sumo, you can bring it out and do a bunch of damage with it. I will almost certainly have top damage this match. But yeah, really low healing output. That is the one caveat, right? Throw that in. He's not going to step in it, man. You can't resist me. Also, yeah, you're going to see a lot of Grover ults, because it's Grover with four tanks. <laughs> Obviously. That's just going to build a ton of ultimate charge. Bam. They're so close to capping it here, 99%. <sighs> it's just a stalemate! We're just about four minutes away from being able to kill the supports legally. I'm very scared for that, because I am very flimsy with Corvus. Grover should have a lot easier time staying alive than me. Apart from possibly getting ulted by Khan, which luckily I won't have to worry about. I'm very worried about Wiro hooking me. I feel like he's going to be all over me at the 20-minute mark. Fernando's just trying to hold his shield in my face, so I build that salt charge. It's not really working, though. <laughs> Uh, come on, give me ult. Give me ult, give me ult, give me ult. Yes. Huge burst. We just lost two, though. This might be the death knell for our cap here. We can't keep these guys alive. There's another ult. Throw it down. Mm. I just need to constantly apply the healing. They're in danger of dying every time I ult. Because I stop healing. Oh, man. It's also probably more comfortable to just play right here. Part of the room, so that's what I'll do. Throw that down. There we go. We could burst Mako right now. He's very squishy. Yes, there we go. Got him. Alright, Nyx is gone. Good. Just two tanks on point right now. Rommelt comes out. Get the stun. We throw ult down to try and push this all the way home. Eric is dead. Oh, the Grover ult keeps him topped off, though. Come on, just finish them off. Terminus is probably going to have ult, though, when he revives. Or when he dies, finally. <laughs> Eventually. It's just so slow to get kills, man. I'm so sad. Oh, bad timing with Fernando ult. Yeesh, man. I feel like my eyes are going to go square with all this, this nonsense on the screen all the time. Goodness. It is satisfying to see the old game, though. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's satisfying to basically have a legal Tyra firebomb in a sumo, you know? That's what this support provides. Okay, Nyx is dead. Good. We are at 99 now. We have caught up to them on ultimate progress. I'm gonna throw the ult there, get Terminus really low if we can. Dies through the siphon, but yeah, he has ult for that. Fernando what comes out. That's a bust. All right. Minute and a half until things get very uh, interesting here. Supports are almost able to be killable. I'm going to reposition back here just to prepare for when it's time to die. Get that ultimate in there. Because, yeah, playing in that room is comfy, but there's not much cover, right? One minute remaining. One minute, five seconds remaining. You can't resist me. I'm so scared. Oh, no, 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 no. 
That's illegal, Weary. You have to go off the map. It's not time yet. <laughs> you can't crowd control me onto point and then kill me. That's against the rules. And we lose because of that, though. Yeah, you got a little bit. You got a little bit overzealous there. All right, armor plating, life rip. At least now I have the items to prepare for this. But uh, yikes, we lost the point. Okay, take that. Take that. And I can't heal anybody right now. All right, I'll heal up, Eric. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I'm so scared. <laughs> I think I'll probably be most concerned about Makoa here. I mean, we were already killed me once. He's gonna do it again. And the rest of them are pretty scary. Fernando will probably be the next, like, biggest threat to me. He was last time on Pip, right? Seven seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Run for your lives! It's Fernando! Ah! Wait, I can just shoot him. Wait, I can just... <laughs> Fernando doesn't do enough DPS to me. My life actually outkills that. Alright, cool. Sorry, Nick, so I was getting flanked. Appreciate John helping out with that. Let's just blast away at Nyx. Ah! Blast away, blast away. You know what? I'm greedy. I'm super greedy. There we go. Uh, oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm hooked. Woo! Oh, life rip isn't enough. Okay, I got way too greedy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're out of items. Life rip might actually be kind of the meta for supports and sumos trying to stay alive, though. If you have high DPS. Corvus has over a thousand damage per second, and 60% of that is around 600 healing per second, which puts me on par with a lot of tank DPS. They can still kill me, but they have to group up on me, right? So, like, hook me into two people, then I die. But I think if I just, like, have to 1v1 Fernando, I'll probably win that. Or at least stay alive, right? But yeah, I gotta be so careful that Makoa. I still gotta play super safely with my positioning. I threw the TP. Let me just teleport. And go up. Throw that down. Yeah, Makoa, I'm not sure you thought this one through, buddy. <laughs> Terminus. You don't even do real damage. You're Terminus. Stop it. TP through. That was extremely dumb. I don't know why I did that. At least he died, though. But yeah, since there's no cauterize, I mean, geez, I can just heal up. Yeah! Oh, huge battle shout. Nice. All right, just focus down Makoa here. We actually defend. That was a very fast defense. Nice. I haven't paid attention to how much they're killing Grover, but I guess they must be doing a good job of it, because we defended that very easily. The meta is clearly lethality, because everyone constantly dies. Yes. Everyone dies once in a blue moon, and you get the effect for 3.5 seconds. Clearly the meta. <laughs> I, I actually think lethality should be buffed to 5 seconds, because trigger sent is 5 seconds, and so is sentinel. So lethality is kind of outdated at that point, you know? I really like that they made it cheaper, but I think the final thing to make the item, like, just mwah, perfect would be 5 seconds of duration. Let me really take advantage of that movement speed, you know? Okay, let's go. Ultimate is ready. My ultimate is ready, too. Let me do... an early ultimate right there. That is actually barely going to be capitalized on, which means they're flanking around. I'm going to play at the window for now. Me. Yeah, Fernando, you don't scare me. You do not scare me, dude. <laughs> yeah, wow, Life Rip is totally the play. That was brilliant of me. If I do say so myself, just pat myself on the back. <laughs> the map just works in my favor. I do 600 healing per second with my life rip. Fernando does 450 damage per second. Easy 1v1. Someone else has to kill me. Or he has to group up. That's it. That's all he has to do. Let me throw this down. Please don't hook me. Please don't hook me. Oh, he missed. Huge. Let me TP now. Heal Kana. Ah, uh, this is bad. He's so fast, I got crippled. Grover's trying to participate in these kills here. Okay. Uh, oh, he missed the hook, but <laughs> even if he did, I had the ult for it. Mm, Fernando ult's here. 
We are doing a lot better on the capture progress right now. I like to see that. I'm surviving so much more than I thought I would be. Gotta worry about that Makoa, though. Just gotta listen out for the hooks. Okay, there's Nyx. Yeah, she doesn't do enough DPS either, I don't think. Although, wait. I don't get lifesteal from her royal presence. I just realized. That's concerning. Hello. That hit absolutely nobody. What am I doing? Mm. Ooh, he hooked Khan. That's okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Keep you wait. Ooh, okay. Ah, crap. Rebuffed life it wouldn't have saved you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That would have only been 300 healing per second. I would die to everybody. I know you need healing. I was dead. <laughs> I can't. All right, let me mark you. Mark you. Nice. She's just going off the point. Oh, double kill. Nice. Wow. Good job. All right, here's an ult. Just throw that right back there. Bully them. Yes. Let's just focus down Terminus. I'm going to slow him with that. Because remember, the dagger slows. Easy to forget, but it does. Okay. Uh, bad positioning now. Let me TP back here. Uh, as long as he doesn't hook me, I should be fine. Especially with headshots. 50% Increased damage, even more life steal. Oh, he's dead now, though. Yeah, they all just rushed me. Okay. All of a sudden, this is a lot more even. 72 to 75. We just lost our Nyx. Their Nyx got their Nyx, though. Ah. Okay. I must spend what I have. Uh, come on. PPN. Fast travel, there's that. Don't get hooked, don't get hooked. Oh, we lost the objective, though. Crap, man. Struggling a little bit too much to get kills, because at the end of the day, they still have way more healing than we do. <laughs> Oof. Okay. I'm gonna preemptively throw this, and then TP. He's looking for me. Don't throw him towards me! Oh, phew. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Yeesh. Here's a heal. Let me mark you. You can't me. Going up. There's actually no one here for me to ult right now, so let me just shoot at Fernando above the shield. Nice. There we go. Good. I just realized Barrack's playing Forge Fire. That's interesting. <laughs> they have Bulldozer for it, yeah. I don't know about that talent idea in Zumos, honestly. New to the game, what's the best counters versus Eevee and may have had such a hard time with them? There are so many counters to those characters, so let me list them off for you while we're casually just playing Zumos here. First of all, if you want champion choices that counter them, Torvald and Shylin are both really good, although Shylin only if you can aim, right? Shylin has high burst and a cripple, so he will easily decimate. Torvald is even better. Torvald is probably the best counter to them in the game, because he has an auto-aim silence, so he stops them from using their abilities, and you don't even have to aim it. So you just point it vaguely in their direction, and you'll hit them, like while they're soaring, prowling, etc. And he has good damage, and he's a tank, right? So he's the best. Um, and yeah, in general, champions that are kind of brawly and that have good, consistent damage, right, will also do well against them. Kasumi is actually another pretty good counter I've noticed in recent times, because she has consistent damage, and she's also very tanky with her movement ability, right? But moving beyond that, because you obviously can't play those characters all the time, uh, you want to make sure that you're grouped up with your team, because there's strength in numbers. And if you have multiple people shooting at them, there's a greater chance that you'll be able to kill them. I know it's pretty straightforward logic, but yeah, it's uh, it's true. It works. And also, they have really loud sound, loud sound effects to let you know they're coming, right? So, like for Eevee, for example, Soar is blazingly loud, and the blink is pretty loud, too. And if she's playing Wormhole, then she actually leaves behind an indicator of where she's going to teleport back to. So that's a good way to, like, track her when she's going to blink back. Yeah, listen out for those sound effects, and if you see them trying to dive you, that means they're probably going to try and ult you, right? Especially Eevee. So preemptively use your movement ability to get out of the way. Um, ooh. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Nice. Also, 
this patch especially, armor plating is one of the best items you can buy against both of those characters because they both heavily rely on weapon damage. So if you stack armor plating and veteran, they're going to take like two or three more shots to kill you. And that's a huge deal because they have a slow fire rate. That'll like increase the time to kill by like two or three seconds, which is amazing. So you definitely want to buy that as well, right? To counter Eevee and Maeve. Armor plating, veteran as well if you're really struggling. Um, also, to counter Eevee's ultimate, Sentinel is what you buy, not Unbound. Even though it's a cripple, the cripple only applies while you're in the radius of the slow. Sentinel Four, counters the slow, three, so you want to use that two, to get out. And also, one. Okay. Um, also, yeah, they're pretty hard to track. Eevee's pretty hard to track in her soul. So, uh, just don't. I know that sounds weird, but just don't try and shoot at her in the soul. You're wasting your time. Instead, focus on repositioning, reloading if you want, um, you can't and me. yeah, grouping up with your team, resetting, healing up, etc. Because yeah, she's very hard to hit, unless she's one of the predictable Eevees that just travels in a straight line and soar, but you're obviously not struggling against those Eevees in the first place, so you don't even need my advice. And also for Blink and Pounce and stuff like that, you want to just get used to fighting against them, right? It does take some skill to counter them, but they can be very predictable after a certain time because they'll just teleport, right? And then they'll fall to the ground in a predictable pattern, right? They'll go whoop, and then, you know, back to the ground, back to the ground. So following those patterns is another good way to aim at them. And then lastly, there are some characters in the game who just straight up suck versus Eevee and Maeve. So, like, don't play Victor versus Eevee. She just straight up 100% hard farms Victor. Like, it's it's just not even fair. And that's by design, you know? It's kind of like Drogos versus Aatrox. It's the same way. Aatrox is just... So don't play Victor. Um, if you're playing a support again, stay grouped up with your team and try and play supports that are better against Eevee. Ray, for example, is really good because Envelope gives a massive damage reduction. And she has the Link. Grover as well. Really good self-sustain, consistent damage, and can vine away. So you have a lot of good options, right? So yeah. Like, people complain, oh, Eevee's overpowered, Maeve's overpowered. No, they're They require high skill to get any value out of. And then when they do have high skill, there are still plenty of ways to counter them. You just gotta actually use a little bit of brain power to counter them. <laughs> so yeah, just keep that in mind, right? Simple enough. Okay, let's get back to the Zuma. We are about to lose here. Let me get an ult down. On point. Nyx is really pushing me. She's taking advantage of the fact that my life suit doesn't work on Royal Presence. That's very smart. So... I'm gonna try and stay evasive here and just zip around. Use my TP all the freaking time. Back on through. Goodbye. Zoom around. Oh boy. Get pulled through the wall there. That stinks. Let me throw this down, dodge the hook, keep you away! No, I'm dead. Crap. For Vatu is the same as Torvald? Yes, Vatu is pretty much the same as Eevee and Maeve. Exact same class of characters, you counter him the exact same way. Okay. Uh. There we go. Back in the fights. Try and hold on to this here. Ooh, come on, Barrack. I don't think they realize I'm back at the fight yet. They're not focusing me, thankfully. Oh, we are on it. We are for that. Heal myself with life steal. Go! Yes, life for best item in sumos. Oh! No, I'm getting crippled by Grover. So much CC. Man. I almost wish I bought Unbound instead of Armor Plating <laughs> for all these cripples. Man, it's getting the worst timing here. I never see DR in Heroes Kits apart from a few cards. Is there inherent DR in certain characters, similar to reduced healing with Koga Yag? What do you mean by reduced healing with Koga Yag? They don't have any intrinsic reduced healing. Hasu thing? Are you talking about Cauterize? Because that's for every character. Like, when you press tab on the scoreboard and you see the, like, reduced healing number or whatever, that's for everybody. That's not for Kogo or Yag. That's, that's just everybody. But some characters are DR-based. Azan has passive DR with his ire. Some characters have damage reduction in their abilities, like Corvus has it in his ultimate. Inara has damage reduction on Mother's Grace. 
So, yeah. You just gotta read through their abilities, and you'll see plenty of DR. And then there are DR on cards as well. Okay, well, there we go. GG's. That was a very long sumo match. I got 749,000 healing, but by golly, Jiki got 1,759,000 healing. Jeez. And I actually didn't do top damage in the match. That honor goes to Nyx with the more consistent damage from her center of combat and abyssal authority. Wow. Lots of tickle damage. They're going to do 765,000 damage. And I'm going to do just 588,000 damage, so yeah. <laughs> that wasn't even really worth it to play Corvus and Sumos at the end of the day. Very sad. Whenever I get hit by Koga, a reduced healing icon pops up, makes Khan rough. Yeah, that's everybody. The way that works is... Yeah, I actually won't be able to show it in the shooting range on, like, pressing tab, right? Because if you press tab to pull up the scoreboard, right, you can see the cauterized number, which starts at 25% and then goes up to 90%. And yeah, if I just pick any old character, like if I pick Grover, this left click applies cauterize. Every primary fire in the game, every left click applies cauterize. And you can see that effect. You see those little vapors that appear on Fernando when I shoot him, right? No vapors, then I shoot him, then he got the vapors. That's cauterize, right there. And yeah, you'll see it on the top of your screen. And you want to strategize with that. So if you're struggling with the con, right? If you're struggling to heal with con, here's what you do. Con. Storm of bullets. Normal build, right? Let's say I come over here and I get shot by Cassie. Cassie's going to apply cauterize to me. She's not because it's a shooting range, right? Let's pretend I got cauterize applied to me. Put up the shield. Wait, and then Cauterize is worn off. I can heal with the Battle Shout for the full amount. And that works even in late game when Cauterize is at 90%. So you put up the shield, you wait for it to wear off, right? Wait for that little circle to disappear on the top of your screen, and then heal. And also, um, to counter that, you have Hope Guard for increased healing while Bulwark is active. Really good card for your healers to heal you while the shield is up. And Rejuvenate will actively counter that. So if you buy Rejuvenate 3... That's 30% more healing from other players. That stacks additively against Cauterize. So Cauterize at max level is 90%. This will make it 60%, right? So that's a good way to counter it as well. Paladins 101. I have a whole guide about that, advanced tips for Cauterize, on my YouTube channel. And also, I have a whole Paladins Beginner's Guide playlist on the YouTube channel. So yeah, there's a bunch of mechanics in this game. I recommend going and looking at some of those videos. It's uh, one of the first playlists on the YouTube channel. I actually did a bit of reorganizing on the channel recently. Because, um, yeah, I <laughs> wanted to get the Season 7 Champion Guides up here. Look at that. Boom. We got the Vora Guide. We got the Azan Guide. But yeah, here's the Paladin's Beginner's Guide. See, so, yeah, we have, like, the Anti-Healing Guide here. We have Setting Guide, Item Guide. Although the Item Guide here is outdated. You'll actually want to go for this Item Guide instead. As a matter of fact, I should probably remove it from the playlist. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, plenty of guides here. Plenty, plenty of stuff. Who is the next champion guide? I can't tell you that. What I can tell you he is there'll probably be a delay that's longer than two weeks for the next design guide due to IRL stuff. Because, yeah, I've got... I'm just busy. <laughs> so I'll still be working on guides. I'll be working on scripts. I just won't really be able to produce the videos for, like, probably... I probably won't be able to start, like, the actual production until two weeks later, if that makes sense. Because I'm busy, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, that's going to do it for today's stream. We're just at the three-hour mark, and that's uh, a bit too much Sumos for me. <laughs> I've had my fill. So, um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to follow me here on Twitch. Follow the YouTube channel, of course, as well, since we're talking about that. If you're a new player, a bunch of resources here to help you, but also I just have entertaining videos, I like to think. I like to tell myself, so, <laughs> yeah. And, um... Yeah, also, if you want to support the channel directly, consider going to Nexus, nexus.gg slash Chicken. You can buy crystals and all that wonderful stuff and support me in the process. Or you can also subscribe to the channel. Although I guess you can't even see me telling you about that because there's an ad in progress. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. You can watch ad-free if you subscribe. And if you have Amazon Prime, then you also can just subscribe for absolutely no extra cost to you. Take money out of Jeff Bezos' pop pocket, put it into mine. It's a great deal. But yeah, let's go raid somebody now. Looks like Z1's playing Paladins again, so let's go show him some love. And yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.